pipes have buttons to begin and end the drive. The car would then make turns and react to other vehicles and pedestrians. At first, it's exciting because it's new. It's technology that you haven't seen before. Uh, and, you know, it, it's, it's driving itself. But after about five minutes, everyone's, you know, well, is that all it does? Top speed for the driverless car, about 25 miles an hour. I'm Ed Donahue. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Ziggle. And I'm Rick Young. This is Radio VR in Washington on 1390 AM, top stories and interviews you won't hear anywhere else. This is Radio VR in Washington, more than just headlines. Studies show that more and more teenagers are leaving Facebook, but where are they going instead? Apparently, to the hottest new social media site in years, the comments section of this YouTube video of a deer running in slow motion. Already, its comments section is seeing over 30 million active users. Facebook isn't giving up so easily, incorporating images and videos of deer, elk, reindeer, and even moose into their layout. But teens say that misses the point entirely. In fact, the site's one unwritten rule, don't post anything about the video itself. Teens say that's not cool. But with more and more people swapping over to the comments section of the slow motion deer video by the day, some trend watchers warn it may begin going the way of Facebook. I was obsessed with it for a while, but now it's just boring. I'm probably gonna switch over to Happy Fast Kitchen. While we don't know for sure, we believe Happy Fast Kitchen might refer to the Yelp page for a Chinese food restaurant in Cleveland, the new social media site where musician Skrillex recently dropped his latest album. This is the Onion News Network. Okay, well, this is Free Talk Live. We are getting started in a very silent manner here with uh, no music beds, as we call them in the business, because right now our network has not yet connected to us due to some technical difficulties. Do you know what those technical difficulties are? Or are you just yes, kind of clear, uh, clueless? The, the difficulty is that this morning, Ernest Hancock, uh, apparently his producer, or he did not disconnect from the same box, the same uh, codec, as it's called, that connects us to our network. So Ernie uses the same box that we use. And since he didn't disconnect, they couldn't connect. They Mistakes probably, happen, right? Yep. They probably tried it uh, a few minutes ago, and I attempted to raise them on the phone and failed at doing that. So basically, if you're listening to our voices right now... Ah, there is our network. Welcome aboard to Free Talk Live. We are here with a little bit of technical difficulty. Our radio listeners just now joining us here. Uh, Ian in the studio with you. And Mark. Uh, let's jump into the story, uh, the top story for tonight, which was actually something I found on the front page of our website. Thanks to KH7DD. That's the username. Sounds like a ham radio handle, doesn't it? I, I, I always sign. wonder what they're trying to say. Half the half the time, I don't know what any of these things mean. So anyway, people probably don't know what my online handle means either. So the, the submission came from KH7DD, and you can do the same thing. You can actually submit content to the front page at freetalklive.com. You can vote on the stuff that's there already. Vote it up if you like it. Down if you don't. And then we might just talk about it on the radio waves. Now, of course, the best way to get your thoughts on the air is to call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. The story I teased last night about North Korea's so-called black market generation. I've always been fascinated by North Korea. And Dave Ridley has actually called Keen the North Korea of New Hampshire. And right now, the... I don't know what that could possibly mean. <laughs> right now, the forces of Kim Jong-il and his uh, ilk are downtown in Keene at Central Square attempting to destroy peaceful chalkings. Kim uh, Jong-il's dead. The war on chalk. It's it's uh, symbolic, Mark. It's, All right. it's, uh, it's an How analogy. How about then Kim Il-sung if it's uh, uh, symbolic? Whatever, yeah, that's that's all fine. So the the agents of deletion, as they have been called in this war on chalk that has been going on here in Keene for the last few weeks, uh, it continues today. And uh, several activists are down in uh, several activists apparently of different flavors. Uh, the uh, liberty related activists and anti liberty activists are down in the uh, the central square as we speak. If we get any updates on that. Uh, we'll certainly let you know. I know Robin Hood or Garrett Ian was heckled today and threatened by a man uh, in downtown Keene. Video apparently is to come 
uh, from that encounter on Freeman TV Raw. That's FR33 MAN TV Raw on YouTube, and we may highlight some of it at freekeen.com. But to North Korea, which I've just found fascinating over the years, simply because it's you know it's one of the least free places on Earth, arguably. Now, right, the state is supposed to solve all the problems, and it's not very good at that. Not so good, um, but it's interesting to watch over generations and see how things change in North Korea. And the idea of the state controlling things makes a lot of sense to the sort of uninitiated, people who haven't tried to do it. It's like, well, you know, um, wouldn't it be more efficient if we centrally planned all this stuff? You'd be able to, you know, make sure the mo- the right money goes here and the right money goes there and that we have produce enough food and we get enough, uh, you know, weapons and, and make sure we f- take care of the roads and all that stuff. But people don't work that way. And it's never worked wherever it's been tried. We're going to actually hear from a, an escapee from North Korea here in a moment. But actually, let's start out by going to your phone calls and thoughts. We've got Lot on the line in Michigan City listening to WIMS. Hello, Lot. Namaste, Ian. Namaste, Mark. Welcome. Sorry. Go Welcome. ahead. Um, Howdy. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I wanted to, we had talked, the last time we had talked, we had talked real quick on the uh, four, what I would have come across as four laws of creation. And I don't want to take away from the North Korea because, you know, that it's, it's actually really interesting. But we could try to help pursue it in the understanding of, I believe, the four laws and how they work and how they kind of decide. And if you don't mind, I'd go through it real quick. Um, first was the law, first law of creation is, is that you exist. And unfortunately, last time we had spoke, I'd only gotten to that you exist, and I never really went any farther. But what it is is that you exist, and because you exist, you have a purpose. So, therefore, each person that exists has a purpose. So let's try to work together and figure that out for everybody. Second law. Where do these laws come from? Because I'm not sure I agree with that you have a purpose. Well, where I've gotten them from was uh, an individual who um, sort of kind of believes and, like, observes the similar way of life as I do and kind of um, had passed them along, and I— Thinking about it, if you if you were to acknowledge the four laws, I feel that they would they, it helps create balance and harmony. And there's this existence that would be pleasant, full, happy, joyful, excited, and all of the good vibes that you're everyone's trying to reach for. This is what Lot gets for uh, recapping the laws. Now he gets another discussion about the the laws. Apparently, well, but but uh, he's. Uh, but so, Mark, you disagree that uh, you have a purpose. Well, he didn't I would get say through that, the second one. Um, as, as, no, I thought he got through all four. He, what he was saying was he didn't go as far in describing the first one as he might have wanted to. Right. So anyway, yeah. um, Mark, uh, regarding the purpose in Lot, I would say that the purpose is what you choose. Uh, that uh, Are you yeah. saying that the purpose is chosen for you? Purpose, you you've already chosen the purpose. Uh, the way that I the way that I've under I, I've come to understand what existence or what we call life how it works is is before life begins, you are already conscious con- because consciousness is never aware of being unconscious. So whether you're alive, dead, knocked out, but it, conscious is just not. So before you live life, you are a being that is conscious and well aware and well connected to the source in which all comes from, which is law too. And all you chose to all. come down to the earth, so to speak, at a certain time for a certain reason is the idea, right? Yes. Well, uh, yes and no. I feel that here currently, yes, but previous lives, I could say that it was a learning process because that's the purpose of life. Is life is all about learning. The more you learn and reconnect yourself and remember that in which you come from, then that when you start meeting people, when people connect and really remember where they come from and what their purpose is and what they do, you'll find people like, uh, which we lost one last night uh, or yesterday, um, uh, Maya Angelou. What do you or remember of where you well. came from? I come from one. I come from the source that creates all. And what I can recall is, is that my purpose is to be a... Be the middle. Be the binding from what we currently exist in into a mass awakening. I like a lot of what Lot has to and say. Lot, we, we're going to have to skip over a recap here because we're just going to get lost in the oh, weeds. No so what was the point that you wanted to get out tonight? 
I just wanted to say that it, you you had made a comment about how we are all one and one is all, and you somebody had made a comment about oh well it's all is one except for the politicians. Well, well, when that comment was made, it was best if you still are in the understanding that there is a separation. When the when a real awakening happens, you don't have to worry. You won't have politicians and us because it will all be just. So it is possible for all of us to coexist in balance, peace, harmony, love, and have all of them be able to do it. I love the idea of people coming to the conclusion that other people are connected to them because I think it would hopefully result in less violence being directed towards other human beings. But one thing that seems to be pretty consistent in life is that you can't get people to agree on everything. So even if there is some sort of a mass awakening, as you are describing— I don't think it's likely that everyone will sign on board with it simply because people are different, and that's. Uh, it seems like it's always going to be that way. Right. Well, you have a choice. You have a choice to either raise your vibration or lower your vibration. No matter what action or any any event that happens and folds in front of you, you have a choice of either raising your vibration, your action could raise your vibration, or lower your vibration. Now, when the choice becomes to higher your vibration, regardless of circumstance, which I have personally gone through and have experienced and knows that it, it does happen, but as you try to maintain the higher vibration, those who hold themselves to a lower vibration will no longer be part of your journey. Not that they don't exist, not that they're not alive, but they no longer will follow into your existence because you have risen your existence and because you're, the outside has matched the inside, your yeah. vibration is higher, so everything lower than you, you just don't... You, I generally you like what you have to say. Right? I just think it takes a lot of time. Uh, and even if you can I raise your vibration... I think he's mostly harmless. How's that? Even if you can raise your vibration, it won't stop the police from kidnapping you and putting you in a, in a cage for doing the right thing. More coming up. Thanks. You know Lumber Liquidators for having the best selection of flooring at the lowest prices. And right now, you can buy one floor and get 50% off another on their thickest and best dream home laminates. No games, no gimmicks, just huge savings off already ridiculously low prices. Plus, get great deals on pre-finished hardwood and Morningstar bamboo. So go to LumberLiquidators.com to find the store nearest you. Special financing is available. But hurry, this buy one, get one sale ends Tuesday, June 3rd. Hi everyone, I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, now well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, Look for the green box at your favorite store. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm. This time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237, and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. 
be one of the first 100 callers and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2945. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2945. 1-800-514-2945. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on earth? Most coffee at grocery stores or in chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously. We're proud to partner with Comano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, Buzzbox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. With you tonight in studio here, it's Ian. And Mark. All right, so uh, we'll talk more about North Korea here in a moment. But, uh, Mark, I, I, it felt to me like you had something more to say about Lot's call with the raising of the vibration. I like a lot of what Lot has to say. I mean, I like the idea of people coming to the conclusion that all humans are connected at some level and that, you know, other people are just our, our brothers and sisters. They're just like us and that we should treat people humanely because, you know, we might want to be treated that way. I think that coming to the conclusion that everything's connected can help people with that. But I also don't feel like, you know, things are going to be universal ever. Um, maybe at some point that viewpoint will be held widely, which I think would be very, very nice. Um, but what were your thoughts? I mean, because you, you seem to be holding back. I, you know, I guess I'm just, I, I, I've moved through whatever Lot uh, is experiencing right now. You so you're know. saying you've been there. I have been there, uh -huh. and it's just, uh, you know, it doesn't go anywhere from my um, my experience. Where he's at is, is uh, you know, if it feels good, fine. You know, this uh, the spiritual understanding that he's got. If he if it's working for him, that's cool. But I don't really think it goes anywhere. There's no end to this uh, particular path that he's on because there's no evidence for that which was said. Well, hold there's, on now. Is there ever any, ever any end to the path that we're on here? I mean, besides death. Okay, then, uh, then is, I'm sitting at a rest point going, oh, what are the hell are those people bothering walking for? <laughs> because there's just, I mean, you know, there's it, it, it sounds for all the world like a bunch of nonsense to me. Well, what part? Well, the whole thing. Are we all connected? What do I you would mean? Say yes, yes, we are. What do you as mean a, we're as, all connected? As a portion of the universe, inherently connected. Yes, everything is connected. I think so, there's evidence. For yeah, that. I'm as We've so I'm as this. connected to you as I am to uh, the chair that you're sitting on. The uranium flag two two the three in the middle of a nuclear reactor, right? I would say that's true. Yeah, yeah the, in the middle of a flaming volcano or a stinky you uh, are cesspool all that of is, sulfur. Mark. Yes, right. you are all that is. Right. So I mean, you know, which is to say, I am not connected because I don't feel any connection to mm. those things that moment okay. when you're feeling that wonder and awe when you're looking into the sky and a dark area which you can't do here keen because there's so much freaking light pollution um when you go out to new hampshire real new hampshire where you can really look up into the skies and you can really experience it yeah it's it's awe and awesome and wonderful and all those things that's great but what and then the mosquito bites you and uh, you know apparently you're connected to that too yeah yeah so, so what you're saying is you've been there and you've sort of rejected that? 
it just doesn't go you anywhere. You don't care about the idea. Well, it's look, a map the that same leads to be, nowhere. Well, the, the same <laughs> argument can be made about the the people in the liberty movement. I mean, it's not. It doesn't go anywhere. The progress. You know, once you guys get to more freedom, there's still going to be people that are aggressing against others, and what's the point of it? I'm seeing. Prog- Why not just give up? I'm seeing progress in the area. Well, he's trying to have liberty. progress in spreading the idea that everyone's connected, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like me going out. One of the critiques of me going out to well, the Memorial Day Well, how about people get on the parade. air and talk about their Bible verses? One you the, just happen to like the stuff that he the, says. Well, sometimes people will call about their Bible verses. And you don't and let we them get read into it. discussions about that. Well, yeah, he wasn't reading anything there. He was talking extemporaneously about his ideas. So anyway, uh, when I was in the Memorial Day parade with my peace flag, one of the critiques was that, oh, what are you doing? You're not going to do anything. There's nothing going to happen. Kinda, nothing's going to come of this. Why are you even wasting your time? I wonder about this myself. Um, the, the One of the longest running peace vigils in the country goes on here in Keene, New Hampshire. The possibility is that it'll be wrapped up here shortly. We're not sure about it, whether it's the end of the year or not. Um, but I have often gone out and held a sign, um, you know, with them uh, out there at the vigil, and I don't know what it does. I don't know why I go out there. I'm I'm not sure. I want to give solidarity to the people that do this on a regular basis. There's I, a reason. I haven't uh, I haven't done it as often as they do, and I love well, the fact that they do it. And dedicated. I thank them for coming and doing it. Um, but I don't. I don't think there's anything I can do to promote peace, to keep nations from warring with each other, to keep the military well, what do you mean industry. There's anything you can, you're on the air talking about peace, but it's you don't not think that doing promotes, anything, right? I totally disagree. You don't think that promotes peace? Having someone, someone on national talk radio, I, I'm sure there's someone else out there. I just don't know who it is. In fact, I'd be curious to know if you happen to know what other national talk show hosts actually support peace. Outside of Free Talk Live and maybe the Freedom Fiends, I would really like to know who they are. Just curious. Consistent support of peace. Not just anti-Afghanistan or anti-Iraq, but consistent support of non-interventionism and peace. Well, Please, let me know who it is. So you don't think you're doing anything. I think you are doing something. There are people listening, many of whom have told you stories. I mean, we've, we've collected yeah, yeah. testimonials from people who've said, you know, I used to be a warmongering neocon. Then I found Free Talk Live. I agree. So with, don't they, say okay. you're not doing anything. Okay, so you convert some people, and that's really awesome. And But you have to convert a lot of people to stop this from happening. No kidding. For everybody out there that uh, chooses not to go into the military, that listens to Free Talk Live, the 17-year-olds, and there's not very many of them that listen to Free Talk Live, frankly, but the ones that choose not to go into the military and uh, you know do what the politicians say, for every one of them, there's somebody who's going to take their place. So if they need a team of however many people they need a team of to do their job, they'll get those people. And... I just think that, you know, ultimately, I don't know what there is that one can do for peace other than, you know, talk about it and hope for the best. Okay. That's better than nothing, isn't it? I suppose. Okay. So the guys that you're going out to support at uh, the, the downtown common on a Saturday morning, occasionally when you get a chance to go out, do they appreciate you being there? Oh, yeah. They love it. Okay. You get to ch- talk with these gentlemen. A lot of them are uh, former military veterans, older guys. Uh, what? One of them's from Korea or as far back as... World World War II II. or something. Yeah, so I mean, these are guys with interesting experience in life. They've got stories to tell. I mean, you're you're at the very least uh, buoying their spirits a little bit by being somebody different coming up and supporting what they're doing. That makes a difference. It may help them continue on with their dedicated thrust and their push to do activism. You can talk about peace on the radio. These are two things that you do on a regular basis that... You never know who you're going to reach. You know you've reached people. Like, because you're here on the radio, you've gotten that feedback. And when you're on the side of the road, you get honks from people, no doubt. I'm sure you also get people flipping you off and, you know, telling you to get a job. But that's the range uh, of— It's re- set on, at 11 a.m. on a Saturday. Yeah, and that's the range of, uh, of experience. You, you're going to have the negative I guess what they're saying is, the is that I don't value your presence here <laughs> and that you would be giving giving me more value if you were out working uh, productively in the community. And there may be an argument for that, not that there's a lot for me to do at 11 a.m. on a Saturday unless I go get another job. So anyway, I just want to uh, encourage you not to be discouraged. You are making a difference. And every time – and, and not just you, Mark, but you, the listener, also – you know, when you talk about peace, when you use an opportunity 
to insert a message of peace or non-interventionism into a conversation. When I inserted the message of peace into the Memorial Day parade, yeah, some people are going to be upset about it. And yes, the military is usually, probably in all of our lifetimes, going to be successful at recruiting people to go and kill in the name of politicians. I would love to be able to put a stop to that somehow. I don't see any, you know, I don't see it ceasing anytime soon. Maybe if New Hampshire can successfully secede, we can no longer be a part of it. That would be nice. So there are some solutions. It's just it's all a long game. And in the meantime, if you raise your vibration, as Lot was talking about, that's not a bad idea either. It's Free Talk Live. Men who want intimacy and pleasure back in their love life don't ask if, they ask when. So men, spark up your love life, get pleasure and intimacy back, and please your special lady with Epic Nights. Epic Nights is a safe, revolutionary herbal sexual formula for men that combines ancient herbal ingredients and modern science to significantly support stamina, performance, and pleasure. Men, Epic Nights is a proven 100% natural product that works first time, every time, even after consuming alcohol. And you won't hear any of those cliche disclaimers Men, because Epic Nights will not give you unwanted side effects, but Epic Nights will allow you to give your partner what they deserve. Epic Nights is guaranteed as one of the most effective male enhancers on the web or will refund your purchase 100%. Buy Epic Nights at buyepicnights.com, spelled B U Y E P I C N I G H T S.com or call 1 877 330 1120. 877 330 1120. Epic Nights, one pill, one Epic Night. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot free talk live dot com you can sign up to receive the latest about the liberty radio network via our email updates at updates dot lrn dot fm that's updates dot lrn dot fm chat chat
This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. Join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You can share your thoughts on the point of activism or whatever happens to be on your mind. 855-450-FREE. Join us online at freetalklive.com. And if you are online at all, whether it's on a laptop, a desktop computer, a tablet, a smartphone, you really need to look into ProXPN if you care about your privacy. ProXPN is a global virtual private network. They encrypt your online data. So everything that leaves your device is encrypted before it leaves the device, meaning that your internet service provider, whether that be your cable company or your cell phone provider, will have no clue what you're doing online. They're right now likely logging everything you do, saving every website uh, URL that you enter, every search term that you enter, perhaps, in a log that may be kept for up to five years in some cases. You can stop that from happening with ProXPN software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, and Android devices. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL if you're a Linux user. Shoot them an email. They'll get you some uh, instructions back on how to set it up for Linux. And again, uh, ProXPN.com slash FTL. What else does it do besides encrypt your data, protecting you from snoopers online, people that would like to know your personal information? It also, with their premium account, gives you unlimited bandwidth. You can do private torrenting. And in addition to that, you can connect to different servers with their premium account around the world. And it's a very handy uh, tool. You can go and start for free at proxpn.com slash FTL. And when you're ready for their premium account, use code FTL20 and save 20% for the lifetime of the account, which, if you buy their annual plan, breaks down to 5 bucks a month. So proxpn.com slash FTL. ProXPN, by the way, does not keep online uh, does not keep records of your online habits at all, and there's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Promo code FTL20 at ProXPN.com slash FTL. Let's go to Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends in Wyoming. Hello, Michael Dean. Hey, first-time caller, long-time listener. How are you guys doing? That's nonsense. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Two things. One is I want to do a shout-out for a $55 USB microphone that Mark Edge bought one of today, and they really kick butt. And if people use them to call into Free Talk Live or the Nighttime Freedom Fiend show, you will sound better on Skype by far than you will on a cell phone. There's a post on top of creamyradioaudio.com and on freedomfiends.com right now with all the info about it. And Mark Edge bought one this morning. They're that good. Hey, cool. It's true statement. The other is... The other is I want to give a pep talk to Mark Edge. Mark, you sound bummed out, man. You have the coolest, thankless job in the world, and I want to thank you for your service, man. Don't don't be discouraged and think you're not doing anything. Well, I, Ian kind of twisted the situation around to some extent, which is his favorite thing to do. <laughs> um, it sounded like you were pretty bummed out. I mean, I'm well, sorry if I, I misunderstood. I what, what I was trying to say was is that I've been down the path, lots been down, and going down or whatever, and that I don't really find anything edifying down that path. Um and then somehow that got, you know, on the trail to what is it that one can do for peace? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I, there's really no instruction. Since we've never had it, there's no instruction booklet for getting there. Yeah, lot lot made me happy, but I kind of thought of it as nonsense. He sounds like a good person, but he does. It, it doesn't sound like action to me. I mean, if you're if you're giving off good vibrations and the cops beating up your friends and you say, hey, brother, we're all connected. He's just going to beat you up, too. You know, <laughs> <laughs> instead of letting you film it. Um, here's the thing. I'm not going to go with this. America's the greatest country in the world. But here is a fact. OK, America is listed like, you know, 10th or 12th or 30th on the uh, press freedom list. But there's an anomaly to that. And that's the fact that your show and my show are on national radio stations, government-controlled radio stations, not only criticizing the current administration, but saying, let's get rid of the government. That doesn't happen in any other place in the world. And you are holding a prime, important, sacred piece of real estate by doing Free Talk Live on 145 stations. That doesn't exist anywhere else, probably won't exist very much longer. And you should be like happy to jump up every morning out of bed and say, Yeah, I get to talk on the radio and say, say the government should be dissolved. That is. Oh. I love Only that part. Here, man. No doubt about it. I, that that part is uh, is a real distinct joy. Um, now I've got to say that I don't want to see government go away. I want to see the state go away, and I think there's that's a distinction true. a distinction to be had there. But um, the you know yeah, I, I think that that's absolutely true. There is an anomaly, and that anomaly is Free Talk Live. Um, and some and days, the Freedom Fiends. 
And the Freedom Fiends. And the Freedom Fiends. You're right. Every time we have... I, I like that Nima... I like Nima. I just called you... I missed that guy. <laughs> uh, I liked it, uh, Ian said. And maybe the Freedom Fiends, because I was, like, yelling at the radio, going, hey, what did we talk about peace? What are you talking about? But, uh, yeah, man. And, you know, some t- there's some days that I think that that's really awesome. There's other days when I feel like, you know, more people in the liberty movement should acknowledge uh, what we do with the space we hold, too. But it, it you got to earn it, dude. Yeah, you, you can't do. just sit you there and, and bitch about it. You can't about complain it. about it. There's no it's way. It's a thankless job, and but I'm calling to thank you. You know, occasionally people thank you. Occasionally you make a little money at it. You'd be making more money probably managing a Starbucks or something, but that wouldn't do anything. One to, wonders. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, just. <sighs> well, I want to say thank you for calling to thank Mark, uh, Michael, because appreciation goes a long way in the this activism game. And I think that uh, a little bit of appreciation can, can really be uh, useful for folks because it is it is easy to get down. It is easy to look at uh, the the results that you have and or the the seeming lack of results that you might have, and you know be frustrated by that. And it can burn, you know it can burn you out. Activists get burned out, and even activists here in New Hampshire. It can you can get burned out, even though you've got this great support network around, and that it's the best community that is known to man as far as liberty-oriented people are concerned. You can still get that burnout feeling, and I think that if you can just you know if somebody says thank you for something, I think that can help stave off any any burnout for folks. Yeah, Mark Twain, who is basically an anarchist, said, uh, "I can live a week on one kind word." <laughs> it's nice. Anything else you want to share, Michael? No, man. Uh, thank you both for your service. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. And by the way, you can hear Michael on uh, The Freedom Fiends, which is now seven days a week. Mark, the other show, the third show in the business, there's uh, Coast to Coast AM, Free Talk Live, and Freedom Fiends seven days a week. Although, Hold on just a second. He's he's got a rerun on one of those days. uh, I was going to say, is is Michael doing Freedom Fiends seven days a week? I'm doing six days a week. I do weekends, uh, noon to two central, and I do weeknights. Midnight to 2 a.m. Central. I'll be doing the show from uh, from Porkfest. Uh, you know, if you're awake between 1 and 3 a.m. I'm excited. I'm you're going to get nights. to talk to everybody who's tripping and <laughs> totally <laughs> drunk at uh, the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's going to be an interesting uh, overnight shift. Yeah, if drunk people were interesting, bars would, had, would have stadium seating. <laughs> drunk people are not nearly as interesting as drunk people think they fair are. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thanks, Michael, for the call. Yep. We'll see you in a few weeks at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. Porkfest.com. P-O-R. R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. We will be broadcasting live. Michael will be there broadcasting his program live. Uh, Derek J. Freeman is going to be there. I think uh, Angel can't make it, but I, I hear rumor that Derek might be filling in for her, so he might be getting, you know, Five days a week. You know that the They're alt uh, the alt expo is uh, now not so alt at uh, f- uh, free the yeah. I heard the they Port sold Fest. out to the man. Well, what the hell are you talking about? Um, they're getting more recognition for for what they do, and uh, their speakers are going to be heard by more people. And I'm really excited about that because I think that what they do and many times is more exciting than what's going on at Porkfest uh, at all. It's just a jab on my part, Mark. That's all. I mean, uh, alt expo is something that was created originally to sort of be competition for the Free State Project. Yeah, but events. how could it be at a, a competition for the Free State Project's events it's when it's right competi- there? It's friendly <laughs> competition. Well, I mean, the fact that the Alt Expo tent exists could draw people away from uh, from the main tent. That's certainly a, a possibility. But what you're saying is this year the Alt Expo has sort of been encompassed within the official event. Yeah, and it's a little have more its own, official. It will have its own tent provided by the Porcupine Freedom Festival, which is why I... I like to tease and say they've sold out to the man at this point. Whatever. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, so lots of great LRN.FM shows going to be broadcasting live from the Porcupine Freedom Festival. But that's not the only reason to go. The reason to go is the hundreds of people, over a 1,000 likely, over 1,500 probably, going to be attending who love the ideas of liberty, many of whom have never been to New Hampshire before. And if that includes you, you're going to be you're going to feel good because you're not going to be the only newbie there at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. There's a lot of of people who've never visited before and of course a lot of people who've lived here for a while like we have done so go to porkfest.com you can still order your tickets online between now and the end of this month p-o-r-c-f-e-s-t.com we'll look forward to seeing you there and more free talk live coming up 
Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. Imagine an acne treatment breakthrough that even Proactive says is better than Proactive. Announcing all new Proactive Plus, the revolutionary new way to clear your skin from the number one name in acne care. Proactive Plus is our best, most effective solution ever. And when you call 1-800-721-4255 today, you can have it tomorrow. Proactive Plus is the modern acne miracle that treats your skin beautifully. The plus means more. More precise, targeted medicine for faster, gentler acne prevention. And more skin-loving solutions so your complexion can look bright and beautiful. I am just so happy with Proactive Plus. I don't think my skin has ever looked this good. Call 1-800-721-4255. Be one of the first to try Proactive Plus. Guaranteed 100% risk-free. You won't see this limited-time offer on TV. It's a radio exclusive. 1-800-721-4255. 1-800-721-4255. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. It's free. Talk live. Bring up anything here toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that we share with you. You can control the content on the site freetalklive.com. We also accept Bitcoin, but in order to send Bitcoin to Free Talk Live, you have to have it first in your Bitcoin wallet. You may get a Bitcoin wallet from blockchain.info for your personal. Bitcoin wallet use. Now, perhaps you're a business owner and you've been thinking about adding Bitcoin like Dish Network. 
I saw the news today that apparently yep. Dish Network, probably one of the main players in satellite TV delivery. One of the two players, basically. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. There's only two now, aren't there? Yeah, they are a major player. They're uh, likely the biggest business to accept Bitcoin. Thus far, Thus the far. biggest business to begin accepting Bitcoin. I don't know. Does does it mean they are already accepting, or has it simply been announced that they will be implementing that? I did not look that far into the story. I, I just I didn't saw the either. headlines. Well, I, anyway. I read you know the first part of the story, but uh, you know if I don't have any questions at reading a story, I just don't feel like reading the same thing over and over again. Oftentimes, now let's say now. Dish Network, there aren't physical locations you can go into that I know of, um, but if you do have a physical business where you're interacting with customers and you want to be able to accept Bitcoin from folks, like downtown Keene, we've got uh, the Corner News, we've got a hair salon, there's actually going to be a garden shop in uh, town next door that's going to be opening up very soon and accepting Bitcoin, so very Wait a second, the that. garden shop isn't open? Maybe they're just going to be accepting Bitcoin within the next few days. Okay. I had heard that uh, they're opening in the spring. I'm not sure at what point. Yeah, you but should be open right now. You should be, yeah. So anyway, uh, they if you want to be one of these physical locations accepting Bitcoin, you've got to have a merchant app. I mean, that's just the best way to do it, to protect yourself, to protect your employees, uh, protect the liability of the business. Uh, having a merchant app is an important thing to do, and Blockchain.com has one now. You can go and get it on your favorite Android-based device. Maybe get a tablet and uh, hook it up at the uh, the cash register. Blockchain.com. There's no terms of service, no ID requirements, and no fees. Blockchain.com. So Dish Network is uh, going to start accepting Bitcoins in the third quarter. So Very exciting. Let's go to the phones and your calls and thoughts. Bill is in Oklahoma City. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Mark. Hey, Bill. Hey, guys. Um, I, talked, uh, the, I talked to the screener, and I was telling him that I wanted to talk about Snowden, but Specifically, what I want to talk about is a coincidental happening that happened that uh, tend to uh, shook the uh, uh, tech community. Uh, yesterday afternoon, it was discovered that uh, TrueCrypt, which is a uh, all-disk encryption uh, application uh, uh, software, uh, was taken completely offline uh, yesterday afternoon, and, and was the, the website had been replaced with. Uh, uh, a notice saying that uh, it, it was being taken down. Uh, it was it had security flaws, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Whoa. But yeah, uh, it is no more. Um, and what's even funnier is that it, it actually recommends that people start using the Microsoft Bit uh, BitLocker, uh, which I I personally feel is a joke. But that's beside the point. Yeah, I mean, um, the idea that you'd want to use a Microsoft product for encryption seems like you're asking for the NSA to have a backdoor. Right, which, you know, this has sparred a bunch of different theories as to what happened to uh, TrueCrypt. And uh, I just wanted to throw my, my uh, two cents in as to what I think happened. Now, Snowden did do a national uh, interview for NBC. Uh, so today it was an hour special. And it, it just strikes me odd that on the same day that he is uh, that NBC is going to air this special, that all of a sudden uh, TrueCrypt, which he was a big, big supporter of, goes down. So my, my, I'm thinking that my, what may have happened was the government probably served uh, whoever designed uh, the TrueCrypt uh, application uh, with a uh, security letter, and and. Uh, basically forced their hand to, to shut it down. Um, They've uh, issued guess. these security letters in the past to uh, to people that, uh, you know, have these, uh, you know, websites that help people get more security online. Um, what was the LavaBit was, uh, was one, and the guy who ran LavaBit decided he'd rather shut down than uh, bend to the will of the, the politicians. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, what, I, what I think... Or I personally think what might have happened is that the government had no idea what what was going to be aired on that on that special. Um, you know, nobody knew what Snowden was going to say. It turns out he didn't really say too much what has, that hasn't already been said before. But my my theory was that the government was actually scared that he may actually advocate people to subvert the government even more. And since uh, TrueCrypt is one of those ways that we tend to do things uh, underground, out of sight, out of mind, uh, they uh, quickly, if in fact this is what happened, 
they quickly acted to uh, pull uh, uh, true crypto off uh, off the market, which is really uh, disheartening because uh, it was a very easy tool to use. It was uh, easy to uh, to hide things that you wanted uh, not seen in the public eye and whatnot. Uh, so uh, I, I don't know what you guys' take on on that might be. Uh, I obviously have. I don't know. I, all I know is what you've told me about. This is news to me that uh, TrueCrypt apparently has been pulled offline. That they are claiming that there, there are unfixed security issues. The story from Ars Technica says that it has touched off an internet firestorm. So obviously, there's a lot to take in on this subject, and I'm sure people are going to have recommendations for what can replace it. But a lot of people. Trusted TrueCrypt. I mean, over the years when we've talked about encryption on Free Talk Live, that's been sort of the go-to tool recommended by callers and talked about on the, on the air here on Free Talk Live. And so, how do you trust anything? I mean, really, you, if you can't audit the code yourself, you, you'd like and to think that an I open can't. source— you'd like, I mean, this was SourceForge. This was an open source program, right? I mean, this was something that anyone could have looked at the code. So— you know, you jump to the conclusion that the tech community's got this thing covered. This program's apparently been around for a decade, and it's it's got security flaws. We're just now finding out that it has security flaws. Well, that's just it. I don't know how much of that is actually true. I mean, I'm I I, I know that they were doing an audit. Uh, there was a independent group doing an audit. I understand that, and I understand that they uncovered some minor some minor issues. But you know. They they made a report of these of these so-called flaws a long time ago. So the question is, why now? Why all of a sudden yesterday did they go offline? And you they, suspect they that. that the government has threatened them and has frightened them into pulling their product. That's my theory. Yeah. Is TrueCrypt even U.S. based? Um, as far as I know, yes. Okay. Uh, at least the domain is. Uh, whether or not the people uh, behind, because nobody really knows who who actually developed TrueCrypt, it kind of went off the radar. Um, so it's it's possible that the people that are responsible for actually coming up with uh, TrueCrypt and maintaining it were overseas. It's completely possible, but as far as the domain name, uh, it it was a, a U.S. domain. Thanks for the call, Bill. Appreciate hearing from you. I imagine this story is going to develop over time. If you learn more, whether you're Bill or you, the listener, if you know know more, you want to share your thoughts, or over time you learn something that we don't know, feel free to call in. Let us know. Thanks for the heads up on that, Bill. That's fascinating news. Shocking and disappointing as well. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Let's go to uh, Ty in Tennessee on the amp lines. Hello, Ty. Hey, good evening, guys. Uh, I just wanted to address a couple of things. First of all, I wanted to thank Michael, who called in the uh, pre- before this previous caller, uh, for his service. I actually bought that USB microphone that he recommended based upon one of his conversations with Brett Benant on a School Sucks podcast, and it's really great. The times that I call in on Skype and sound really good, it's because of that microphone. So I can right. vouch for the, fa- the, the fact that it does sound really good. Yeah, and he said that he's got uh, a, an article up about it at uh, freedomfiends.com. Yeah, it's really good stuff. So, you know, you guys you guys have an impact on a lot of things, including marketing. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, but I wanted to also address something. I, I didn't hear what Lot had to say. I just started listening on the listen lines right at the end of his call. But I heard Mark was talking about, you know, having been down that road and, and it goes nowhere. Uh, well, a lot was I talking it, about raising one's vibration, uh, you know, having an, a mass awakening of people coming to the conclusion that everyone is connected, that sort of thing. Yeah, I think that accepting new age ideas uncritically is dangerous. Uh, it's, it's possible that, you know, it's very easy to lose touch with objective reality if you don't uh, apply some critical thinking to some of these new age ideas. Ty, stand by. I'd like to uh, have you get into more of this further in moments. Hour number two is on the way. More time for Ty. Your calls as well about whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Take control here on Free Talk Live. Hour two next. 
There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait. Others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. There's a treasure hunt going on at mathgate.info, a Bitcoin treasure hunt. You can find Bitcoins by proving theorems. So learn some logic, do some math, find some Bitcoins. Even better, mathgate.info is designed to be used anonymously. So connect to mathgate.info through Tor, prove some theorems, find some anonymous Bitcoins. Don't wait, others are already searching for the Bitcoins. Go to mathgate.info today and join the treasure hunt. There are anonymous Bitcoins to be had for the taking at mathgate.info. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, May 29th, 2014. Silver is trading at $18.87 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,254 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $567. Reuters reports Edward Snowden told a U.S. television interviewer he would like to go home from asylum in Moscow, but that if necessary, he would seek to extend his stay in Russia. U.S. officials said he was welcome to return to the United States if he wanted to face justice for leaking details of massive U.S. intelligence gathering programs. Snowden told NBC Nightly News anchor Brian Williams in an excerpt from the interview that aired Wednesday, if I could go anywhere in the world, that place would be home. Asked how anxious he was to make a deal to return to the United States, Snowden replied, My priority is not about myself. It's about making sure that these programs are reformed and that the family I left behind, the country that I left behind, can be helped by my actions. He added that his one-year asylum in Russia looks like it's going to run out, and then, of course, I would apply for an extension. Snowden, who fled to Hong Kong and then Moscow last year, is believed to have taken 1.7 million computerized documents. The leaked documents revealed massive programs run by the NSA that gathered information on emails, phone calls, and internet use by hundreds of millions of Americans. He was charged last year in the United States with theft of government property, unauthorized communication of national defense information, and willful communication of classified intelligence to an unauthorized person. Secretary of State John Kerry invited Snowden to, quote, man up and come back to the United States and told the CBS This Morning program on Wednesday, the bottom line is this is a man who betrayed his country, who is sitting in Russia, an authoritarian country where he has taken refuge. If he has a complaint about what's the matter with American surveillance, come back here and stand in our system of justice and make his case. Snowden said, The reality is the situation determined that this needed to be told to the public. The Constitution of the United States has been violated on a massive scale. I think it's important to remember that people don't set their lives on fire. They don't say goodbye to their families. They don't walk away from extraordinarily comfortable lives and burn down everything they love for no reason. 
FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The AP reports, Ohio executions have been put on hold for two and a half months after a federal judge allowed more time for arguments over the state's new lethal injection procedures. The order, in place until August 15th, delays executions scheduled for July and August, while attorneys prepare filings about the state's decision to boost the dosage of its lethal injection drugs. The one-page order by Columbus federal judge Gregory Frost affects the state's latest death penalty policy change, which was announced in late April. Ohio uses two drug injections simultaneously in executions. The policy change considerably increases the amount of the sedative and raises the amount of the painkiller. The procedure update followed the January 16th execution of Dennis McGuire, who repeatedly gasped for air during the record 26 minutes it took him to die. The state said in April it was making the change to allay any remaining concerns after McGuire execution, though it stood by the way he was put to death. The Department of Rehabilitation and Correction said its review of McGuire's execution determined that he was asleep and unconscious a few minutes after the drugs were administered and his execution was conducted in a constitutional manner. The order by Frost delays the July 2nd execution of Ronald Phillips. It's the second delay for Phillips, whose execution last fall was postponed while he unsuccessfully requested to donate organs to family members. The order also delays the August 6th execution of William Montgomery. Following an end to the moratorium, the next execution in Ohio is October 15th when Raymond Tibbetts is scheduled to die. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Like many young inner-city students, Chicago-area high school sophomore Brandi Perkins struggles every day to motivate her teachers. The frustrated 16-year-old talked to Onion reporters this morning to discuss the challenges she faces in reaching out to her underperforming educators. Connecting with the teachers gets harder and harder every year. We all come in every morning eager to learn, but most of the teachers just seem completely uninterested in education. One of my teachers, Ms. Manley, has been particularly hard to work with. Um, She was quiet at first, but she showed some potential. I thought maybe she just needed a little time to come out of her shell, but as the weeks went by, she just sat there listlessly at her desk, never talking or participating. It just makes you feel so helpless. For more on this story, check this week's Onion Review. Is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live launching here into the second hour of the program. Plenty of time for your calls. You dial in toll free, bring up anything. We still have yet to talk tonight about North Korea and their so called black market generation. We'll explain more about what that's about here in a moment. With you tonight, though, it's Ian. And Mark. We're going to go right back into your calls and thoughts. We had Ty on the line in Tennessee. He was talking about New Age viewpoints, which have been expressed on the show earlier tonight and in the past as well. Uh, We had Lot call in about them. I like a lot of them personally. I also like a lot of the uh, Buddhism and uh, Hinduism and some parts of Christianity and Muslims. I like all kinds of little bits of different religions. Anyway, you were saying that they should be looked at with a critical eye, Ty, and you were kind of explaining your perspective. Yeah, I'm saying that that, uh, accepting these ideas uncritically is dangerous because it's possible to lose touch with reality. But on the flip side, a belief in a higher purpose is also beneficial to human happiness. You know, it's it's a a double-edged sword, so to speak, because in, in our modern world, science really is supreme. And scientific materialism really isn't enough because it it totally disregards the human spirit. You know, according to scientific materialism, uh, life is just a big accident and everything is pointless, which is a very depressing idea to the Mm. human spirit. So searching for the meaning of life, the origin of consciousness, 
trying to understand awareness and, and considering life to be sacred, those are very beneficial things for human happiness. But you have to, while you have your head in the clouds, you have to also keep your feet anchored on the ground or you will lose uh, touch with reality. What's the uh, disadvantage of losing touch with reality? The disadvantage of losing touch Rea- with reality, reality is not so great, right? Well, you uh, you're pretty much going to go nuts, you know. I've been there. <laughs> it's bad. You find somewhere, yes, he has. Uh, I took him to the hospital. You may, you may be involuntarily con- confined. Uh, you yes, may he was. Pose a pose a complete danger to yourself, you know. So well, I think the last time I called and spoke about things like this, we were talking about you know having faith. Uh, that a truck won't harm you. You can just walk in front of a truck. Well, that's that's a pretty dangerous <laughs> thing to do. Yeah. You know, you're not going to faith yourself away from getting run over by a truck. No doubt. So, I, I think that it's it's very important to maintain a balance. There is. I mean, I'm I'm a student of esoteric knowledge. I find the subjects fascinating. Like you were talking in uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, uh, Toltec wisdom. I think I've called and spoke about that before. From Don Miguel Ruiz, that's his tradition, is the Toltec, uh, the Toltec tradition. And I, I think all of these are fascinating, and they actually are uh, life-empowering as long as you use this to kind of fulfill your sense of purpose in life, because that's what scientific materialism cannot give us, is purpose and meaning. And that is what spiritual seeking can give to us is this meaning and purpose to life. But you have to find that balance between objective reality and spiritual yearnings. I tend to agree. Good advice. Thanks, Ty. Appreciate it. 855-450 free. James in Arizona, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, James. Hi, Minister. You're on the air. I'd like to talk real quickly about Lot's four laws. Okay. Number one, you exist otherwise known as I think, therefore I am, it's called a syllogism. In other words, it's fallacious. So number one, it's nonsense, like your, your fellow talk radio head said. Number two, all is one and one is all is a classic tautology. In other words, it's nonsense. Therefore, it's fallacious and shouldn't be taken seriously. Number three, karma. That's called wishful thinking, which is fallacious. Therefore, nonsense. Number four, Good vibrations. Well, that book that his parents brought him up to believe in the Baptist Church, which is, by the way, not equal with the Catholic Church. It's inferior, I would say, uh, by a lot. Uh, is awful nonsense, but love thy neighbor as thyself and treat one as you would expect to be treated are pretty good laws. But, um, hey, Mark, have you checked out your Facebook page recently? Um... I don't know. A couple days ago, I guess. What's up? I didn't think you had, but I know that Ian has. He's one of the a person who thought I was calling in under the under being paid, and that I, my angry being angry is a bit. And somebody just said, "No, that's all nonsense." I know that was the minister, isn't it? That said that, Ian. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Why don't you from Free Talk Live responded to somebody named Vic? But I think you do know what I'm talking about. About Johnny Prine, or Price, excuse me. Honestly, what, I don't look at hardly on anything Facebook on our Facebook. Page. He's talking about the fa- the Free Talk Live Facebook page. I I thought you were talking about my yeah, uh, Mark. my Facebook page. I'm sorry, yeah, I do keep Mark. a pretty good idea of the uh, the Facebook page. Do you know what he's talking about, Mark? I, I, I think, think that somebody it. mentioned him. I think two people mentioned him, and I think that he, you know, he really gets excited when mm. people mention him on the Facebook page. Wait a second, you think or you know, Mark? Because you read it. See, I don't. The two faces of Mark. BS is lying, and you're lying to me, Mark. You saw what Johnny Price wrote. I don't Did Mark sign a like statement or something? Thought. Because there's like six or seven different people that have a uh, yeah. sort of back-end I need a little access. reminders. You know, I, I'm sorry that, um, uh, uh, James, you are not the most important thing that happens in my day. That you were a killer on your Facebook page if they used your name. Or called you a little bitch and used your name. I would never forget that, Mark. So don't lie to me. It's the reason a f- why you're not my buddy and why I'm angry with you guys is because you're scum. James, you love smearing bye now, James. Agree with you. you just want to call names. See There's 30,000 people on our Facebook page. Um, you know, a lot of things happen there. 
So comparing, well, there's no the free 30, talk. Thirty thousand active users. There are people, thirty thousand people who've clicked like. Und- understood. But would you agree the that the free talk live Facebook page is more active than the average person's Facebook page? Oh, well, certainly. So, um, you know, whatever I saw there, or responded to there, or whatever is. You know, not the most important thing that happened in my day. AC's in Ohio. You're on Free Talk Live. AC. Yeah, it's interesting that you guys just got done with James Lewitt because I think I know what he's talking about when he's talking about your Facebook page. He's talk- he's- one of the things he's talking about is he's talking about a video about him that I uh, made about him after our last conversation where I was a little pissed off. Oh, and you posted that to the Facebook page? Yeah, to the Free Talk Live Facebook page. Yep. Okay. The uh, video was... Uh, a response to my last call, well, the last time me and Wit kind of went at each other. And basically what I did was I found segments. I, I, I played clips from free, different clips from we've called in in previous shows. And I make, a, you know, where, and I say, here's where he's talking about supporting murder. Here's where he's talking about genocide and things like that. And I think he was, because he actually mentioned my real name, which is Aaron Clark, by the way. Mm-hmm. And this was the Sunday night show, by the way, in case you're curious. Um, and I thought that was interesting. And I think he's—I think he's a kind of butt hurt because uh, I called him out on the things he's been saying through that video. Well, Wit's always butt hurt. I mean, James is always <laughs> uh, yeah. butt hurt about something. I mean, that's the character. Whether he's a real character or not, I don't know. It still remains to be I seen. Uh, Mark believes he's real. I Absolutely. think he seems pretty real. But somebody else said that they thought that uh, they heard him cracking up one day, like or about to start laughing. When he was on the phone, as though he were playing a character. Conspiracy theories, uh, you know, permeate all portions of our life. At this point, we have no information that he is anything. I, I don't think anybody could replicate wit. Anyway, AC, what was the uh, the point of your call tonight? Well, the point was is, um, to, re- to respond to something he said Sunday night that I kind of was. Is one thing he because uh, based on that video, there was one clip where you where it was. A previous show where it was um, Wit, um, Mark, and uh, Daryl talking about the wars in the Middle East. And at one point, Mark, you did say uh, that the people in the Pentagon deserved it. They deserved 9/11. There is a part where you did say that. Yeah, I really hate that uh, particular quote. Um, I don't know how to it, properly it was, phrase what I mean it, there. It was, it, it was a misunderstanding based on the fact that you were aggravated with them. Well, what I was trying to say is is that uh, there were civilians in the towers in 9-11, but that there are uh, you know military personnel in the Pentagon. If you're going to fight a war, it seems to me you should go after military personnel um, and— uh, you know, do the do do people that believe the United States is uh, over involved in the Middle East have a point? I think they have a point. Do I think individuals in the U.S. military deserve to die? I don't. But it's not a big surprise to me if you sign up with the organization that uh, whose job it is to oppress people that some people are going to react to that. Thanks, AC, for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can break, uh, bring out whatever you'd like and take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. What if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Well, that happened in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work. Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in this series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. 
Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Saying that he was giving his co-workers at Marley Publishing just a few more days to catch on to him, local mentally unstable man Michael Redding told reporters he planned on exhibiting one or two more warning signs this week before, quote, finally doing this. I think I'll do just a couple of disconcerting things in front of people here at the office, maybe give them a day or two to take action through the appropriate channels. But if that doesn't happen, then I'm going through with it. The fully unhinged Redding, who plans on, quote, making this thing happen sometime next week, claims that despite displaying erratic and worrisome behavior around the office for the past few months, his actions have gone completely unreported by his coworkers. I definitely talked about my frustration with life in general, and I even discussed my fascination with all sorts of violence. But that still didn't throw up any red flags. We'll see if anyone catches on. Mike? I don't know him super well, but he's nice enough. He's quiet and he keeps to himself mostly, but I'm sure he'll come out of the shell. Just a matter of time. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Have you ever wanted to move to the land of Libpair, Libertarian Paradise, where there's fun for everyone that doesn't initiate force on others, fun for the kids, parties for the adults, buy and sell in silver or Bitcoin, scenic hikes and gun shoots, speeches to educate us all? The Porcupine Freedom Festival is Libpair in the White Mountains of New Hampshire for a week this summer, June 22nd to 29th. Get your tickets now before there's no more room. Porkfest, the event of a lifetime. Porkfest.com. That's P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything here toll free at 855-450-FREE. You can join us on the phones or via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out to us that way. If you're going to do Skype, you do have to send a contact request first. It will be approved probably within 15 minutes. And then after that, it's easy to call in from that point forward. You can also join us online over at freetalklive.com. Enjoy all the features on our site. We do it free, unlike a lot of those talk show hosts who want to charge you for their website. So go to freetalklive.com and enjoy. Cashintocoins.com. It's the best place to go get Bitcoins. If you're looking to get into the uh, the the Bitcoin marketplace, you're gonna need some. Now you need a wallet, and you should go to blockchain.info to get your wallet. But you're gonna need to put Bitcoins in that wallet. Now a wallet's an account, essentially. It's a numbered account, and Bitcoins are a way of uh, demarcating uh, value. They're an international currency that allow you to send and receive money across international borders or within internet or within national borders. Without having to pay any fees, or if you do, there's some services that uh, have you paying negligible fees, pennies, in order to uh, send money back and forth. But Bitcoins are they're fascinating technology, and I think they're really going to change the world, as evidenced by, oh, I don't know, Dish Network now accepting them coming into to third later quarter. Later this year. Yeah, Very later exciting. in this world, year. And I, th I expect large companies to continue to look into Bitcoin and continue to accept it. It wasn't eBay. eBay said again, reiterated they're talking about it. Reiterated that they're interested. A lot of these big companies take a while though to to make a move. Overstock didn't. Well, yeah, that's true. They turned on a dime. Well, um, they announced Overstock originally announced plans and then changed their announcement to all right, we're doing it now rather than to wait because they didn't want their competitors to uh, to jump in the game beforehand. And they, that could happen to Dish. That's I mean, what Dish I'm is thinking is is a Directv going to say oh. Really? Thanks for telegraphing your, uh, right, your, your, your plans, plans here. We'll just go ahead and accept Bitcoins, too. But we'll do it a week before first yep. quarter. We'll do it next month. 
So there you go. Um, if you want to get some Bitcoins, go to cashintocoins.com. The rates are great. All you have to do is uh, use a money order check or wire transfer, and you can get it. So it's cashintocoins.com. By the way, they do sponsor our Bitcoin tip jar page, which is bitcoin.freetalklive.com. And you can yes. go there, find all kinds of information about how to get Bitcoins and learn about Bitcoins and all that kind of stuff. All right, still to come, the North Korean black market generation. We'll find out more about them. Uncle Fudd is on the line first in Kentucky. You're on Free Talk Live. Uncle Fudd. Howdy. Hey, what's on your mind? Maybe a misunderstanding there about the whole uh, vibration raising thing. Uh, you guys, uh, I understand how easy it is to misunderstand coming from a materialistic standpoint. And I'm not talking about atheists because lots of, lots of atheists understand that kind of thing. But uh, it's not a hippy dippy 1960s uh, type of thing. It's an actual uh, increase in your vital energy that is that this gentleman is talking about, whether he knows it or not. But I'm just saying that because of your uh, basis of your philosophy, which is materialism. Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa. Hard. What makes you think that the basis of my philosophy is materialism? And when you say your philosophy, do you mean mine or Mark Edge? There's two people on this show. Well, I think I, both of you. Both of you. All right. Tell me what you mean by that, then. Well, it's pretty simple, I guess. Uh, materialists believe that matter exists, and we, say, for instance, spring forth from matter. Uh, Non-materialists, such as myself, believe that consciousness exists and matter springs forth from consciousness. I'm on board with you, Uncle Fudd. I'm a panentheist personally, so uh, no, I think you've I think you've pegged me wrong. I don't know about Mark. I'm not sure how he feels about this. I don't know. I'm gonna have to hear more. Uh, you know, the, the the thing is the is uh, that uh, yes, yes, no. Okay, who needed to hear more? Uh, Go ahead. Mark needs to hear more. I'm on board. I think that uh, nothing existed before it was thought into existence. But go ahead, Mark, or uh, Uncle Fudd. Yeah. All right. Well, the the more is uh, concerning the vibration. Let's get into that. Uh, rather than the reasons why I was assuming you were a materialist, just mm. because of lack of insight into what he was saying as a real thing. When when you raise your vibration. Everybody, many, many, many people do it every day. Uh, athletes do it. Uh, uh, many uh, people who follow spiritual paths of some sort or other who, who have a discipline do it. Uh, that's why uh, a yogi or a Tibetan monk can live in the uh, sub-zero and melt his ice-cold blankets and so forth and so on. It's a real phenomenon, and it's uh, the only way. <laughs> we're actually going to get through this because it solves all your problems. It solves all these problems that are insolvable to you, and it immediately, uh, immediately you make immense progress toward all these well, problems. Well, I mean, it's statements need. like that that I think are going to – look, I'm mostly on board with what you have to say. It was Mark that was really the critic of Lot earlier tonight. Um, but when you make a statement like raising your vibration solves all your problems, I mean, it's inevitable uh, that somebody's going to poke holes in that. Say that. How can you repeat me so wrong? I didn't say it solves all your problems. I used the word many, many, not all. I totally I missed that because I could have sworn you just said, Mark, did he say it solves all your problems? I thought he said it all solves all the problems. Okay, then I apologize if no, I no, misheard no. you there, Uncle Fudd. Go ahead. So you're saying it solves many problems? I'm saying it goes a long way towards solving many problems. Okay. Yes, yes. And here's why I say that, because you're uh, stronger, you're smarter, you're faster, and you don't need very many people like that to make a difference in the world. Yep. Um, and and a proof of that is <clears throat> all your great uh, – and another reputation of an earlier statement that you all made is many, many of the great civilizations of the past – and I'm talking great and long-lasting civilizations – have been based on a small class – of incredibly uh, talented people who organize everybody else. And that means like somebody sitting on a throne at the top of this. I don't like it because I like freedom. But those yep. were great civilizations. They were organized. There was less death, less starvation, less war than we have because we have let a few really crummy people get on top now, of it. you said this isn't good. a hippie viewpoint. I mean, it certainly seems that way. It's always kind of been in the New Age uh, genre, and that has always sort of been the, uh, the bailiwick of the hippie community. How, I mean, you, you obviously well, don't describe yourself in that way. How did you come across all this? Well, uh, yeah, I, 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 I am uncle, after all, Uncle Fudd, yep. Grandpa. I am, 
I am, I, I, you know, I lived through that era, but, you know, you don't, you don't stop there. I've been exploring what consciousness is and what the, what the mind is for a long time, and I have uh, managed to find a lot of things, very simple and free things that actually do raise your vibration, that makes you healthier, makes you uh, give more me one example. How, uh, give me one example of, uh, of a, a vibration-raising activity. I'll give you four examples real quick of things that everybody can do, and it, it will solve a lot of your health problems very fast. Uh, one is touch the earth with your body. Don't be insulated from it. Just a few minutes every day, sit down, put your feet, put your hands, lay your back down on the earth. You have a, We are, we need to synchronize our system. It's been that way for decades. Number two, fresh air, clean air, learn to breathe, get a breathing app for your smartphone. Number three, drink clean water. Don't drink poison water and don't eat poison food. Okay, five, don't take their poison medicine. Those All good ideas, your- Uncle Fudd. I appreciate hearing from you. Right. Thanks for sharing tonight. 855 450 free. I mean, there's nothing much to disagree with there, right? I think, well, the, the their poison medicine, I think, is, uh, you know. <sighs> Do I think that the America is over medicated in many cases? Do I think some people are taking medicines that that keep mm-hmm. them alive? Yes, I do. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. However, you will not vaccinate your child, correct? Um, he is not vaccinated. So, safe I mean, to say you're a skeptic of the medical establishment. Then. Okay, let's continue in moments here. Eight fifty five four fifty free is the toll free number. And you can join us on Skype as well at username lrn.fm. Take control here on Free Talk Live. You've been lied to. Lied to by Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, and I want to give you free access to my new DVD set, The Millionaire Black Box. Because after losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. And since then, I've filmed interviews with dozens of millionaires across the country. I was shocked to discover they don't use mutual funds or worry about stock market crashes. They make double digits in good years and bad. Call now to get this DVD where millionaires reveal five specific wealth strategies like private lending contracts, how to use your IRAs or cash in the bank to make potential double digits each year, tax-free retirement income using the biggest benefits left in the tax code, and how to beat inflation with two strategies you'll never hear from Wall Street. Call 1-800-324-3030 to get free access to the Millionaire Black Box videos and learn the secrets the ultra-rich use to grow your money and protect your wealth. Plus, the next 47 callers get a free copy of my best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire. Just cover shipping and handling. Call 800-324-3030. Again, that's 1-800-324-3030. 1-800-324-3030. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Free speech is protected on the internet, right? Not always. Government agencies try to limit free speech and commerce on the net. Luckily, when they do, the Institute for Justice is there to defend your First Amendment right to free speech. IJ helped set the first federal precedent for Internet free speech in 1999, and ever since has worked to prevent unconstitutional roadblocks in cyberspace. Visit our website today at ij.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. 
freedomsphoenix.com constantly providing the information the real news about government policies and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government the real condition of the economy innovations in technology breakthroughs in energy health and computer science learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media the corporate media nothing more than distributors of government propaganda but now there's an alternative freedomsphoenix.com constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways with liberty and property under constant attack freedomsphoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda and it encourages the participation of its readers go to freedomsphoenix.com that's freedoms with an s phoenix.com freedomsphoenix.com the revolution between the ears has already happened you can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, inviting you to take control here toll free, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. And you can join us online. Just drop on by freetalklive.com. And enjoy the features that we share with you. In fact, if you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, you can shop with us. Just go and get your shopping taken care of at shop.freetalklive.com. You can go shop at Amazon. You can do Newegg. It's back. Uh, There was some issue with uh, the behind the scenes setup with Newegg last few months. It's uh, back on board for Newegg US and Newegg Canada. There's also Walmart now available, which we're experimenting with. I have yet to really verify that the Walmart thing is actually working. So uh, use at your own risk with the the Walmart. What's uh, the risk? The risk would be that we might not get a percentage of the purchase. Mm. I think it'll work so fine. So you'll get your you'll get your uh, product and uh, the same service and and all that. And Free Talk Live might not. Yeah, the risk is to us, I guess, is what you could say. Use at our own risk. I suspect it will work, but I just have yet to verify that that is the case. Because we're not actually making as much off the Walmart deal as the Amazon. um, But, you know, sometimes Walmart's got a better price. And you should go where the better price is, I think. So now you can actually shop and compare prices through shop.freetalklive.com. Uh, so let's continue here. Finally, to the story that I had teased last night. We never got a chance to get to it. North Korea's black market generation from... Washington Post Opinions. Yon Mi Park is the author here, writing from Seoul. I escaped from North Korea in 2007. Two years later, I arrived in Mongolia, along with my mother and five other people. Armed with knives and prepared to kill ourselves, we begged the soldiers who caught us not to send us back to our native country. Like, because as you might imagine, you get sent back to North Korea if you try to uh, escape by the, you know, the Chinese catch you. They it's probably you not great. Not going to go well for you. Like a lot of North, which is why they were willing to kill themselves in that case. Like a lot of North Korean refugees, I would not mind visiting a reformed North Korea one day. I have hope for such a place because while the international community debates on how to help North Koreans, change is happening from within. Okay. To paraphrase Lenin, uh, things have to get worse before they get better. In the last decades of the 20th century, North Korea's economy went from bad to worse, hitting rock bottom during the famines of the 1990s. To survive, North Koreans began to engage in private market activity, which today accounts for as much as 80% of family income. Jeez. Now, yeah, just focus on that for just a moment and think of how different that is from what your life might be. While there are some people in the United States who are sort of off the books, in North Korea, most everybody's doing some off the books business. Sounds that way. The super majority of what they're doing and the money they're bringing in is coming from the black market. And this is what the market will do. I mean, if the market is restricted, it just goes black. It goes underground, continues to operate. In this case, people started to starve. It's like trying to stop a river. Right. They starved under the old system, and they decided, okay, we're going to take care of ourselves now. And they went ahead and did that. The public distribution system that has provided North Koreans with rations since the 1950s can't compete with the spontaneous order of the market. There are many changes going on, and it is my generation, often called the Jangmadang, or black market generation, that will make changes permanent. North Korea's black market generation has three main characteristics. The first is that it has no devotion to the Kim dynasty. Kim Il-sung founded the country in 1948 and ruled it with an iron fist until his death in July of 1994. 
Born in 1993, I was brainwashed to glorify him and his economic system of jush, or national self-reliance, but I have no memory of him. There are some in my generation who profess admiration for him and his progeny, but they just don't want to lose their loyal status under North Korea's government-imposed Songbun caste system. They are concerned. Yeah, I mean, I imagine that uh, if you if you don't talk loyal enough, you're pretty quickly out of the uh, uh, you know the the favor of whom whomever. Absolutely. In fact, uh, you don't talk loyal enough, you might be put to death, as he did with uh, what was it, his uncle, uh, a few months back. They are concerned about themselves, not the Kim dynasty. The second characteristic of the black market generation. Our black market generation has had wide access to outside media and information. Okay. The private market has provided more than food and clothing. It has also provided televisions, bootleg South Korean movies and K-pop videos, USB drives, and DVDs, meaning flash drives. Uh, as a girl in North Korea, I saw Titanic. Cinderella, Pretty Woman, and Snow White, not to mention WWE Wrestling. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> so she knows about the New World Order, too. As American philosopher Eric Hoffer wrote, Quote, Suck it! Quote, It's not actual suffering, but a taste of better things, which excites people to revolt. North Koreans, who have grown up watching such entertainments as I did, and know they are not as dangerous as the regime has claimed for decades, will be unlikely to enforce censorship once they are in positions of influence. Already, seeing movies and music videos from South Korea has inspired many North Korean youngsters to talk openly about wanting to live there. Of course, they'll eventually recognize that not all South Koreans live like those they see on the screen, but they'll find that even lower-class South Koreans live better than most North Koreans. And that's certainly true, uh, you know, here in the United States, being poor in the United States is a better life than being rich in the United States 100 years ago and is a better life than being wealthy in a lot of places that are very, very poor. Mexico, why, why, you know, why do so many people try to come across the border, you know? Going on here, non-governmental organizations and others who have managed to get information and movies into North Korea should be proud of themselves. They have had an impact. And what we're talking about there, we're talking about smugglers. And just to be clear, these organizations the author is referring well, to— Well, smugglers are only bad when they're smuggling inside of a country that you agree with, you know, yeah. like their rules that you agree with. Smugglers are bad in the United States if you're against— uh, you know, Oh, my God. My, my, my God. It's, the, it's America. But smugglers in North Korea, these people are heroes. Why? Because you're a rah-rah team mentality, you know, partisan. Well, and, you, you may or may not be, depending on who you are. Well, if if that statement yeah. uh, convicts you in any way, if you feel, uh, right. you know, like that, it, if it speaks to you, then that's what you are. You're a partisan, and nobody trusts a partisan. The third characteristic of the black market generation: we are capitalistic and individualistic. We grew up with markets. We have experienced buying and selling. I recall regularly going shopping with my mother. The development of markets is important because it undermines the Songbun of North Korea. With the government in charge of social classifications and food distribution, it has always determined who could acquire wealth and who would starve. The private market removes that from government control. Members of the black market generation want to be as wealthy as the people they see in foreign movies. Based on reports that I have heard from refugees who have recently escaped to South Korea... Again, this person ex escaped in 2007. Uh, the late Kim Il-sung would not recognize his country's economy today. Mm. Politically, the regime still cracks down on dissent and issues meaningless edicts about the evils of capitalism. But it must know, Jush has died and markets are on the rise. The black market generation of North Koreans will be the one to change the country's society. We know both halves of Korea well. We can lead change from the bottom up. If I ever return to a reformed North Korea, I'll be thrilled to meet my peers as we attempt to bring wealth and freedom to people who were forced into poverty by the Kim dynasty. Imagine the just the the importance to people of where they're born, the, the sort of brainwashing that goes on, this tribal mentality. This woman who left North Korea North Korea 7 years ago what, four times in this short article laments the fact that she can't go back. Um, I, I'm just amazed. Uh, I'm, I'm stunned by what I'm hearing here. She wants, of course, she wants a better North Korea with a with an open marketplace, mm -hmm. whatever that means to her. 
but uh, you know, I want to go back to North Korea. You can just hear it. And my God, I think Ed Snowden wants to come back to the United States. I mean, he's got loved ones here. Sure. Can't yeah. blame you. Can't blame somebody for that. I just thought this was a fascinating little piece, uh, and we'll post the link to it over on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. But just imagine, like, for the person writing this, the market is this wonderful thing that many in North Korea for a long time had no real experience. Most with. people in the United States despise it. I've been. Ex- she says I've experienced buying and selling as though there are people who have not. That they don't know what this is like, that they didn't know what this was like until the advent of the black market, which apparently is the primary method of earning income in North Korea. Share your thoughts. Bring up whatever's on your mind here on Free Talk Live at 855 450 free. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers, and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2945. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2945. 1-800-514-2945. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com It's already too late. Criminals have kicked in your door and are now in your home. Before this happens, homeowners have a choice. One, do nothing and hope you aren't one of the 1.4 million families attacked each year. Or two, refuse to be a victim and for as low as $59, reinforce your doors with door devils. Door devils simply attach to existing door frames and have proven to stop the biggest bad guys from kicking in doors. Read our police testimonials of real-life events at doordevil.com. Alarms don't stop kick-ins. We do. Doordevil.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. 
You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. Of course, you can bring up anything that you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. We were talking earlier about uh, the True Crypt situation. Maybe security isn't what you thought it was, but others are saying they think True Crypt is totally fine, and they find that this uh, redaction on the part of the True Crypt creators is very, very suspicious. We don't know what the truth is there. Hey, there's an audience for Glenn Greenwald. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what I was going to segue into. Actually, was that uh, Glenn Greenwald uh, in the in the realm of security? has some interesting information that he's going to be revealing. We'll tell you more about that, and you can, of course, take control of these airwaves here on Free Talk Live. We're heading to Chicago, and I'm excited about it. It's going to be July 19th and 20th for the North American Bitcoin Conference. It's going to be held at Chicago's Cormac Place South Building. I assume that means there's a North Building. Um, and there's going to be all kinds of speakers there besides us. And I don't know that we're going to necessarily be speaking. I'll be probably doing some emceeing work, and Ian, you'll probably be doing, doing things too. But we're going to be doing a live broadcast, and I'm excited about it. Jeff Berwick, the Dollar Vigilante, is going to be there. Tony Gallippi from BitPay is going to be there. Kathy Reisenwitz. Roger Veer, who's, uh, you know, some circles known as Bitcoin Jesus. He's going to be there, the developer of Litecoin, Charlie Lee. Trace Meyer of the Armory Wallet, and a whole host of other folks um, that you can come see. You can find out about Bitcoins. If you like Bitcoins, you can find out where the growth is going to be. If you're looking for a job in the Bitcoin economy, likely there'll be opportunities there, too. I know there's uh, there's going to be lots of folks, and it's going to be a big event. They thought it was going to be about a 500-person event down in Miami, the North American Bitcoin Conference they had down in Miami Beach. Mm-hmm. turned out to be about 2,500 people. Whew. So uh, it was it was a big deal, and I'm, I'm excited to be involved yet again. You can get your tickets. Pay with Bitcoin if you'd like. BTCChicago.com. BTCChicago.com, July 19th and 20th. Please come out and see us there in Chicago at btcchicago.com. Looking forward to it. Uh, so you can bring up whatever's on your mind here. And Glenn Greenwald has made another big announcement. I mean, the, the hits just keep on coming to the NSA. Of course, if you've been paying attention for the last year, you may recall that Edward Snowden, a uh, former NSA contractor and uh, employee, he released some really shocking information to a lot of people. And for others, it was just confirming uh, what we sort of already knew, or what a lot of people had already suspected, I guess, and that was that the NSA was really able to access anybody's email anywhere. I mean, as long as it's not PGP encrypted, they can pretty much get into whatever you've got. And uh, and that was pretty shocking. And, and what happened was news just kind of kept being released. Snowden had uh, given Glenn Greenwald and some other organizations the information, and the way Greenwald was releasing it, the NSA would continue to make denials about certain things. They would yeah, this is uh, hilarious. Stuff. They would they would acknowledge some things and then deny other things, and then they would claim they've changed uh, as a result. Of, yeah, but uh, and then what it would turn out would they they release more information that says that the denial was in fact a lie too, um, and you know it's it's just amusing. It kept on it, kept, it they just kept on getting it. Boom, hit him in the face, and then they're like, uh, right, they and kept, then hit him in the face. It was Gl- amazing. Greenwald and Snowden continued to prove the NSA liars. Well, like every that's, single time. They're spies. Yeah. What are they supposed to do? They know nothing but telling lies. They'd have been better off just keeping silent. I mean, <laughs> had, had the NSA not addressed any of the accusations whatsoever, they, I think they would have been better off. Not that I want them to be better off. I just think that would have been the case because then they wouldn't have been able to be caught in as many lies because they lied on top of lies. And uh, Greenwald and Snowden called them on it. And the next thing they're going to be revealing, because remember, the last time we uh, talked about this or one of the more recent times, it was revealed that Snowden had, uh, I guess, turned over like 1% or Greenwald had revealed 1% of what he had learned from Snowden. So there's a lot more to come. A whole lot more that can be released. Oh, and by the way, I don't think we ever talked about this. Before we get into the new news from uh, Greenwald, I don't think we ever mentioned this, uh, the WikiLeaks folks did release, finally, the name of that 
country. I don't know if you guys covered this on Sunday, but no, we had, I don't think so. We had uh, talked about it last week, where the headlines were that WikiLeaks, because Greenwald wouldn't do it, WikiLeaks was going to release the other name of the country that the United States NSA had been recording every single phone call in and out of. That one of the countries was the Bahamas. They had released that. But the other one, Greenwald wouldn't release because he was concerned it would cause deaths if this information was released. WikiLeaks said, we're going to release it within 72 hours if somebody else doesn't do it first. I guess nobody else did it because word is WikiLeaks has released that it was Afghanistan. Mm. So apparently the NSA, two countries, have been revealed that they've been recording every single phone call in and out of for how long, I don't recall the time frame, but for some period of time. And Afghanistan was the mystery country. And somebody's going to get killed over that? Well, that's what Gre- uh, Glenn Greenwald had suggested, was that it may lead to deaths. All right. I'm not sure why, uh, and whether or not that will actually happen remains to be seen. Anyway, here's the latest from uh, Glenn Greenwald, the Washington Times, reporting that he has revealed that he's going to be publishing his most dramatic piece yet, the names of those in the United States targeted by the NSA. One of the big questions when it comes to domestic spying is who have been the NSA's specific targets? Are they political critics and dissidents and activists? Are they genuinely people we'd regard as terrorists? What are the metrics and calculations that go into choosing those targets? And what is done with the surveillance that is conducted? Those are the kinds of questions that I want to still answer. Greenwald told the Sunday Times of London. Greenwald also pointed to the failures of the NSA to catch Mr. Snowden during his download and theft of 1.7 million documents and said that's further evidence of the government's inability to guarantee data security. He said, and Newsmax reported, quote, There is this genuinely menacing spy system, and at the same time, they are really inept about how they operate it. Not only was he out there under their noses, downloading huge amounts of documents without being detected, but to this day... They're incapable about finding out what he took. Yeah, I mean, to some extent, he's really pointing out that essentially the um, they're they're like a baby with a gun. They've got this powerful, uh, in, you know, this collection technology, but they don't even mm-hmm. they they can't even watch themselves. So the information has not yet been released, but it's coming. And his website is uh, Glenn Greenwald is where his new website, the one that was some hubbub about when it was launched a few months ago, is called The Intercept. And I don't know why he doesn't have his own domain name, but uh, it's firstlook.org slash The Intercept. If you would like to go and you know subscribe to his blog site to be informed when this actually occurs, when this list is released, I'm very curious. Who is going to be on this list? Are we going to be on the list? Are you going to be on the list? Who is going to be on the list? We don't know. It's fascinating, though. And how many names will be revealed? And over what time frame will the list cover? Will you feel bad if you're not on the list, Ian? No, not at all. (laughs) You don't don't have any emotional investment as to whether you're not on the list. It's mere curiosity. That's all. So I thought that was interesting. You can share your thoughts here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. So you can bring up anything. That is the point here on Free Talk Live. We've got a lot on deck here, including uh, there's there's other news here about uh, the troops are staying in Afghanistan. You, Mark, had said the other day that the troops are pulling out of Afghanistan, but apparently there's about 10,000 of them, 9,800 troops. Isn't that, that are about be what's sitting in a- pretty. Isn't that about what's in Iraq? I have no idea. I don't keep track. I believe that's the same number that was left there at the time, too. Um, I, I, just, I would hardly call that a removal of troops from, uh, from Afghanistan. If you've got a bunch of men with guns and fatigue standing around, uh, it sounds like it's still occupied territory to me. So it's, it depends on the yeah it depends on the number. Let me let me take a look. Because you had said that the keen uh, there's this weekly anti-war protest that's gone on for decades here in Keen, and you'd said they were going to call it quits because they had heard that the troops were leaving Afghanistan. So maybe yeah. you should let them know that. Uh, actually, the troops are going to be sticking around till further notice. Yeah, it depends on what your definition of it is. You know, I mean, as far as they're concerned, it's it's the military action that's over. Um, you know, the, the people that are out in the central square, they don't share our view of uh, force. Hmm. Um, so, you know, 
to, to them, the military action's over, so the vigil's not necessary. Now, I would argue that there's military action. The U.S. military is involved in military action all over the globe. Right. You don't hear about it. Um, there's military action. There was an article written recently that said something like 100 uh, countries or something. I don't know. Hmm. You know, I don't know exactly what's going on where. I'm skeptical of, uh, you know, of what they mean exactly by military action, but I know there's troops being sent to Africa right now. So, yes, there's always something uh, to, to continue the vigil. And, and you're not going to get told about every bullet that's fired out of every soldier's gun. Mm -mm. So, I mean, that, that's an important thing to consider. Looks like there's about 30,000 troops in Korea. Wow. That's a lot of people. I'm just saying that, uh, so that's what's comparable to, you know, Occupation. Shocking, shocking amounts of, uh, of troops there. 855, 450 free. I say uh, bring them all back to the United States. Forget about this military occupation of the world. Hour number three is coming up. Plenty of chances for you to call in about whatever's on your mind. Are you talking to an agent provocateur? We'll find out in moments on Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand with your Liberty Beat for May 29th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,255, silver at $18.88, Bitcoin is trading at $569. Today's prices were brought to you by Allison Marie, an eager homeschool student interested in live broadcast. Thank you so much, Allison. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Take action and join for free to gain community support and protection online at accountableauthority.com. Support also comes from Free the Market, Free Ross Albrecht, a community fundraiser being held this Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. at Brave New Books. Join special guest Cody Wilson of Defense Distributed. Proceeds go to Ross Albrecht's Legal Defense Fund. That's Saturday, May 31st, 6 to 9 p.m. at Brave New Books. Despite the U.S. government's claim to the contrary, whistleblower Edward Snowden was not just a low-level systems administrator undercover overseas. I was trained as a spy in sort of the traditional sense of the word in that I lived and worked undercover overseas. That clarification came from Snowden during a one-hour interview with NBC's Brian Williams, which aired Wednesday night. 
I've worked for the Central Intelligence Agency, I've worked for the National Security Agency, and I've worked for the Defense Intelligence Agency as a lecturer at the Joint Counterintelligence Training Academy, where I developed sources and methods for keeping our information and people secure in the most hostile and dangerous environments around the world. Uh, so when they say I'm a low-level systems administrator, that I don't know what I'm talking about, I'd say it's somewhat misleading. The NSA has declined to comment on Snowden's statement. The interview was Snowden's first with a U.S. television network, but was conducted in Moscow, where he has remained since the United States revoked his passport and charged him with espionage. Raising money for Ross Albrecht's Legal Defense Fund is the goal Saturday when the Alliance of Austin Agorists hold their sixth networking party at Austin's Brave New Books. The Alliance of Austin Agorists and Brand New Books and Sovereign BTC came together and we figured we'd do a fundraiser for Ross Albrecht, the alleged runner of the online black market called the Silk Road. That's Alliance founder Joel Anthony Williamson. We have a, a counter-economic farmer's market for all products, skills, and services. 5% of the money raised at each vendor is going towards Ross's legal defense. Also, we're going to be doing an interview with Ross Albrecht's parents. Harlan District is going to conduct that. We are also going to interview Cody Wilson. The event is this Saturday, 6 to 10 p.m. at Brave New Books, located at 1904 Guadalupe Street in Austin. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks. Check out their new website at centraltexasgunworks.com, where you can conveniently purchase firearms from a variety of distributors and pick them up in store. And from Cabo Bob's, now with two locations in Austin at 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for May 29th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Tuesday, the Dallas City Council debated water fluoridation once more. Dallas has made headlines in recent weeks after gaining City Council members' support for ending the practice of adding hydrofluorosilicic acid to the municipal water supply. Fluoride-free Dallas activists plan to continue visiting city council to stand against fluoridation. Researchers at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration plan to test several drones during the peak of hurricane season this year. The drones are expected to transmit data that could help forecasters better understand the dynamics of severe weather, hopefully creating an earlier warning system. Last week, The Intercept disclosed more evidence illustrating just how massive the NSA's dragnet surveillance really is when they reported that every phone call made to and from the Bahamas is being recorded and stored by the agency. WikiLeaks reports censorship of this sort should not be tolerated and revealed that Afghanistan has also been the target of mass telecommunication surveillance, a tool the U.S. greatly depends on to carry out their drone attacks. WikiLeaks stated that such censorship strips a nation of its rights to self-determination on a matter which affects its whole population. An ongoing crime of mass espionage is being committed against the victim state and its population. Support for this program comes from My Magic Mud, a holistic remedy for your teeth and gums. Visit MyMagicMud.com. This is Justin Armand reporting with the Liberty Beat. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. Many thought that a politician with a publicly inebriated lifestyle would be unelectable. But Dave Tillis has proved them wrong, winning over voters by loudly rambling on about issues they care about. Everybody's got to know that drugs are Americans, and we love America! And we want to make it awesome! Oh my God, let's do this! Till his total fearlessness and lack of inhibition seemed to speak to voters. This week, those supporters had something to celebrate as Senator Tillis proposed his first piece of legislation, the All Bus Stops Should Have Shelters Bill. But does that mean you deserve to wake up in the snow? Hell no. Let's make a shelter on all bus stops. Ow! Oh, this idea is genius! This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. We're launching into the third hour of the program. You can bring up whatever's on your mind. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855 450 
888-382-3733. Or join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. With you in studio, Ian here. And Mark. Are you talking to an agent provocateur? What is an agent provocateur, Mark? Well, let's say... Um, uh, uh, a confederate that's in the group, um, somebody who is usually an agent provocateur works for government, mm -hmm. and the intent is to say in a demonstration the agent's provocateur. Actually, um, they we know for cer certain the histor history is borne out in the Kent State situation. Agents provocateur were the ones that uh, began throwing rocks. Mm. So. That situation there, you've got people who are in the crowd, work with the government in some way or another, you know, some way they're Confederates. They're the ones who get things whipped up, and people tend to follow, so sometimes they're successful in what they do. Other times they're put down by the crowd. There have been a lot of different uh, examples of agents provocateur to which that uh, you can point, you can show them, and uh, you know there's evidence for the fact that they were agents provocateur. Some not as conclusive evidence, but pretty darn damning evidence. Like one of the one of my favorites was the the cops, the undercover cops that got busted at I don't know which convention it was, Republican, Democratic, it was one of those things I think. Uh, maybe it was G20. Anyway, one in Denver. I don't remember. It's been years. There's been so many different incidents. But the one of them was uh, where the cops were busted. They were throwing bottles or doing something violent. And they were wearing the same military boots that the, the, the uniformed police were wearing. And, yeah, okay, you could say that was a coincidence. But it's one of those situations where they show up, they provoke, and then they disappear, right? They just want to be there to be the excuse for the police to crack down on the crowd. Or worse, with agents provocateur, is you've got in, uh, infiltrators into various organizations, some of them peace groups, uh, over the last you know decade or even longer. This has been going on a long time. But oh yeah, we were reading been, years. Um, you know, we were reading years ago about uh, how they were getting into Quaker groups yeah, and yeah. stuff, and uh, in the occupiers, etc. So uh, the story from David Hathaway over at LouRockwell.com. He's in Ottawa. Oh, with the cops with the, the, the boots? boots? Yeah, I looked it up. Was that G20 or something like that? I can't, can't answer you, man. Anyway, David Hathaway reports, are you talking to a provocateur? What are the signs? Are there any indicators that you might be talking to an agent provocateur? The imagined look and persona of an agent provocateur in most people's minds probably couldn't be further from the truth. Most would probably picture the obscure, silent individual lurking in the back of the room while doing his best to conceal his identity and his movements. If you accept that image, you have also accepted the notion that the provocateur is really just peeking in on, documenting, and recording pre-existing criminal activities and shady plans going on around him. And you would be confused because that that's would be an informant. <laughs> right. That's that, an informant, That's yeah. more likely the role of an informant, although sometimes an informant will buy and sell drugs or things like that. Uh, but generally, an informant is an observer, whereas a provocateur is someone who wants to provoke, someone who wants to uh, to start something, something that otherwise wouldn't have happened without their presence, or maybe likely wouldn't have happened without their presence. They are an agent meant to provoke. Indeed, you haven't faced the reality that the whole show is the production of the provocateur. Once you realize that the momentum, the force, the ideas, and the infrastructure of an event are suggested, put in motion, paid for forcefully or charismatically insisted upon, managed and facilitated by the provocateur, then you look very different to individual or you look very look to very different individuals when considering who is the state's agent provocateur. Looking for those individuals causes you to look for those displaying the characteristics of a leader, a financial sponsor, an employer, a boss, an orchestrator, or a charismatic friend to a lonely person. Well, one thing you need to look for um, when looking for agents provocateur, and it's so, sort of the long sell. There's the long sell and the short sell. Mm -hmm. In the short sell, they go into the uh, the uh, you know whatever the demonstration is, and they're the ones being absolute a holes. Yes, and they're the ones that are doing criminal things so that the police can have an opportunity to move in on the entire crowd. Because once one bet, once a one person in a group does something bad, then that's all they need. All that's all any authority figure has ever needed historically to do whatever they want. The uh, I, I remember I heard interviews regarding the Kent State situation, which we know historically was agents provocateur. Um, I heard the whole thing on NPR, so I tend to believe it. Well, those people who are now old folks were talking about what their parents said, and 
and their parents are like, but they were throwing rocks and stuff. It was okay to shoot college students in America because they threw rocks. Well, all they needed was a few rocks thrown, and they didn't, and it wasn't even the college students who did it. So here are 11 characteristics that may be displayed by a provocateur. They may not all be displayed. Some of them may not be, etc. Number one, the agent provocateur is at the front of the room. He's the most visible person in the activity. He's the center of everything, the linchpin. You've been called this more than once. I have been called an agent provocateur. There's uh, been at least more than one. Yeah, that's true. One person ranted online, another in real life, that uh, they thought I was a federal agent. Number two is the biggest talker. He talks, and this would be you, Mark. Uh, he talks oh, endlessly I'm the biggest talker here. about illegal activity with no attempts to conceal his intended activity. The I agree with that. The, the provocateur doesn't, as some must think. We hedge constantly on illegal activity here on the show. Yeah, I know. I don't want people to be violent. I think violence is not the solution. I don't think it's going to help things. It uh, tends to make things worse. It tends to provoke more violence. Uh, he talks endlessly about legal activities with no attempts to conceal his uh, conceal his activity. The provoca provocateur doesn't, as some must think, randomly stumble into a lot of evil debate societies where he's welcomed warmly into an open discussion of criminal conspiracies. On its face, that notion should be counterintuitive to most people based on their life experiences. Even private criminals rarely, if ever, speak specifically to anyone, even to their family or inner circle, about the details of criminal acts they plan to carry out. Talk is at a minimum, and objectives are not openly stated, but understood. Smart, smart criminals, at least. The provocateur, on the other hand, rants incessantly about criminal ventures and seeks, a he seeks head nodding, mumbling, smiling, or something that he can describe to prosecutors as assent to or participation in the planning of a conspiracy or the execution of a criminal act in furtherance of a conspiracy. Real criminals will quickly decide to get out of Dodge when conf confronted with a showy, loudmouth nut job that is either a cop or will get everyone thrown in the slammer. And and that's certainly true. And that, you know, if you're dealing with somebody in your movement, your group, whatever we're talking about, whether it's you know the Libertarian Party, the Ron Paul Meetup Group, uh, Liberty, Liberty on the Rocks, I mean, whatever it is that Libertarians, liberty-minded people are doing, or anybody for that matter, the Quakers, the Occupiers. Somebody comes in there and starts talking about violence. It's one of two things. It's somebody who is an agent provocateur working for the state, or it's somebody who just doesn't understand that violence doesn't work and they are not very good in social situations. And, you know, that's a fairly common thing in the liberty movement. I understand frustration. Um, yeah. And, you know, yeah, I understand frustration. I would, however, point out that uh, many times when we, you've had, uh, you know, peaceful. Uh, situations uh, occur, you know, like change occur from peaceful situations, there's often a violent component going on on the sidelines, the periphery, that makes the... You mean like Malcolm X versus Martin Luther King or something? Uh, yeah, Mal Ma Chris Malcolm Cantwell X... Cantwell versus Free Keen, for instance? Yeah, Malcolm X changed his tune at some point, but... He did, yeah, right there, before he died. Certainly a, you know, there was certainly a, uh, an amount of that. He changed his tune and actually was assassinated, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Um, so, Maybe he should have done that. <laughs> number three, uh, the agent provocateur is fearless of the consequences. That's because they have no consequences. Most people fear financial harm, harm to their reputations, and physical harm, like imprisonment or being shot. Not the provocateur. He has all of that covered. He has his get-out-of-jail-free card. Number four, the provocateur pays more than things are worth. The provocateur often is not concerned about getting good value for his money. He often buys and pays for things or gives them away free to his targets with no sense of quid pro, uh, pro quo. After all, it's not his money. It's taxpayer money. The government's never good at getting good value for the funds it spends. And the same goes for when provocateurs spend taxpayer money. They pay their targets too much for drugs, too much for bomb-making supplies, too much to rent a warehouse to store illegal material, and too much for their time. There's no sense of value for value. The overspending is also an inducement to get targets to do things that they wouldn't otherwise do. Indeed. We'll come it back really is. With more on signs that you may be talking to an agent provocateur. Do you have any experience with this in real life? We'd love to hear your story. 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. What if you could combine the two most powerful diet ingredients into one incredible weight loss super pill? 
We've done just that. For the first time ever, the miracle fat burner in a bottle, Raspberry Ketone, has been combined with pure Garcinia Cambogia, described as the holy grail of weight loss, to bring you the world's most powerful diet pill. Get your phone ready, because we're releasing free bottles to the first 100 callers. But wait, we haven't just combined the two most powerful weight loss ingredients. We've combined the six most powerful ingredients. Green coffee bean, African mango, moringa, and glucomonin. All the hottest clinically proven weight loss ingredients combined into one fat-shedding super pill. We call it the Skinny Six Super Supplement, and it's available for the very first time. Be one of the first 100 callers and we'll rush you a free bottle. Call 1-800-514-2945. Find out how to get your free bottle. 1-800-514-2945. 1-800-514-2945. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Are you talking to an agent provocateur? We've got some tips, some things to look out for. Uh, from LouRockwell.com and David Hathaway. We'll continue that list here in a moment, and you can take control of the airwaves here at 855-453. Join us on Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, and get yourself a free pound of some of the best coffee in the world. Yeah, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. It's that easy. You pay the shipping, um, and we'll give you a free pound. Coffee.freetalklive.com. To get it, you have to join a subscription program. It's a subscription program for... Buzzbox Coffee. Now, you can cancel this at any time, which is to say you can order your free pound and then cancel your subscription anytime you want. 
Now, if you continue on with the subscription, because, I don't know, you love this coffee and it allows you to help us to give uh, micro loans to people around the world because for every 10 people we've got signed up for our program and the people, the dozens and dozens of people that have have signed up with uh, coffee.freetalklive.com, we appreciate it. And so do the people, pardon me, so do the people around the world who uh, who are being helped. We just posted a uh, picture on our wall on Facebook of some folks that are getting helped that bought a sewing machine to be able to sew up some shoes in their town and sell them to, to people that need shoes, obviously. So you can change lives by simply ordering the coffee that you normally order, actually better coffee than you normally order, through coffee.freetalklive.com. So going on here with a list of uh, suggestions or signs, rather, that you are talking to an agent provocateur, someone working for the state, someone who wants to provoke you into doing something you wouldn't normally do. Someone who wants to provoke, perhaps not you, but somebody who is more easily malleable in their personality. Right. I mean, if somebody wants to cause trouble, you wouldn't get with a bunch of other people necessarily to do it. I mean, if whatever you violent act you thought was going to be helpful in, I don't know what you know situation you'd be doing it in, but mm-hmm. let's say that uh, if you're listening to Free Talk Live, that you want to end uh, the violent monopoly known as in the hierarchical structure known as the state— Maybe you want to end that. Eh, you know, <laughs> getting involved with a bunch of other people, that's not the solution. Even if you don't have an agent provocateur in your midst, sooner or later, Johnny Law is going to get a hold of somebody, and when they do, they're going to sing like a bird. There is no sense of value for value. A bird that can value. sing, in fact. With a, an agent provocateur, one of the uh, number four that we're on here of this list of 11 uh, things that will, you know, tips things to look for, is the agent provocateur will spend money lavishly. They will buy, they will offer to buy things, they will offer to pay more for them than they are generally worth. Well, if they want to get somebody to, to for instance, uh, buy drugs um, or, you know, what they want to get or some sell drugs. them drugs. Sell yeah. them drugs, right? So, you know, I mean, the average situation that you're going to, you know, if you want, I don't know, a quarter of marijuana, um, and I'm not sure what people pay for this these days. It's been a long time. Depends for me. on the quality, indeed. So can be up to 120 bucks. Call it 60 bucks is what it's uh, you know the whatever it is that you you're going to get. Yeah. Uh, and they'll say, well, and you'll be like, eh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. It's not worth five dollars for me to yeah. go someplace else and get this and bring it back to you because I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting it a deal. I'm not a dealer. Um, well, I'll give you 150 dollars to do it. That person is full of crap, right? I mean, that person's a dangerous individual. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's They're- tempting to people, right? Because it appeals to an individual's, uh, you know, it's, yeah. it's going to appeal to greed. Well, right. And this is what they call in, uh, you know, what con men call the short con. They get people, they, ap- they appeal to people's greed. Mm-hmm. You can't really get somebody in a con game unless you appeal to their greed. When, the, true. when the Nigerians are fishing through email, they say that $10, they're, a, they're a prince and you they will give you $10,000 for the use of your ba- bank account, which of course they then empty in short order. Yes. So that's because y- you got caught because you're a fool and you were greedy. There is no sense of value for value for the agent provocateur. The overspending is also an inducement to get targets to do things they wouldn't otherwise do. It's a strong signal that the provocateur is involved with something. Is somebody offering to rent a hotel room or a warehouse out of the blue for a venture that cannot be cost-effective at the exorbitant rates being paid by the provocateur? This is not how the mafia or other private criminals act or think. It's a sign of state action. Number five. Prefers, the agent provocateur, prefers to talk in his car or a hotel room. Cars and hotel rooms are often wired with audio and video before the scheduled meetings. Mm. The provocateur tries to discourage discussions with the target in the target's private controlled surroundings or outdoors where stray noises like traffic or wind will overwhelm a recording. He tries to draw the target to his car or another choreographed location like a hotel room, warehouse, garage, etc. in the theater production controlled by the provocateur. Number six, the provocateur may be very friendly. The provocateur may be very kind and overly well, interested. It, there's stories. 
There are stories of, uh, I think it was in Great Britain. They'll have Britain. sex with you sometimes. Oh, the, <laughs> impregnating women. Mm. Um, and uh, there was this one particular story out of Great Britain where or they they'll had, be a woman and they'll just have sex with a bunch of lonely guys in order to get on the inside. Happened at my high school. Um, there was, there a, was an agent provocateur at your high school. Yeah, I, I think I've, I've told this story before. Tell it again. There's, uh, I don't know, it, it, this was, she was a narc cop. Um, uh -huh. And uh, she, you know, was, she basically befriended lonely people and um, actually she was very very attractive so she managed to, to suck in a lot of dudes and can you help me get some pie and honey? she she moved around and around and one guy she she was his girlfriend mm -hmm. and you know his girlfriend you know mm -hmm. and uh, yeah that guy got he got all kinds of legal trouble. I believe that he got a little bit of uh, time that he did out of it. But, you know, what's this do for a man? Um, you know, what's it do to his life? And for what? The provocateur may be very kind and overly interested in the target, even though the target, that might be you, is an unlikely candidate for his friendship or her. Oh, there was a couple of situations we've read about where, uh, uh, you know, these same sort of cops planted in schools will go after uh, special needs kids and stuff. Number seven. The provocateur often looks and acts like a member of a demonized group. Sometimes the provocateur overtly displays the characteristics or talks the talk of a group that is being demonized by the state and the state-supporting media. Say, for example, that gun owners, white supremacists, motorcycle clubs, militia members, devout religious practitioners, or persons of Middle Eastern origin are in the crosshairs of state fear-mongering. Well, then, it could be anticipated the provocateur may be flaunting grossly exaggerated characteristics of those groups in conjunction with wild rhetoric that would make him the target of the feds if he weren't already in cahoots with them. And the for more, the Liberty folks, this means... Uh uh, oftentimes it'll be, you know, the the gear, the don't tread on me kind of stuff and, and that kind of thing, uh, accompanied with the desire to, uh, you know, get illegal guns or, uh, you know, blow stuff up, that kind of thing. The more he fits the stereotypical image of that particular mythical dragon the government wants to slay, the more likely that he's putting on a costume to fit an adopted persona. Now, one thing you can uh, generally find with uh, folks that are trying to infiltrate the Liberty um, groups is, is they won't have done the reading. They won't mm. know any of the books. Um, they won't know anything or about it's them. paper thin, the uh, yeah. amount of knowledge they do have. Mm -hmm. So they just don't understand the concepts. So, But that's why, for me, I don't really care whether a person is an agent provocateur or yep. not. I'm not interested in violence, and no one's going to talk me into it. But there are people out there who are more easily led, who are more, you know, they're looking for friends, they're lonely in this movement. But the arrests can come whether you were interested in violence or not. I suppose that's true, although if you've made it clear when the person starts talking about violence, whoa, you know, that's not an appropriate uh, conversation to be had, and then start talking about why peace is the answer, you're going to have a tough time making a case against you. We're coming up here on Free Talk Live. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pillow. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. Or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. 
So why would I support the American Empire? The Empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Toll House Refrigerated Cookie Dough. Who would you bake some love for? Find fun and easy baking ideas at TollHouse.com. Kids love doing arts and crafts projects, especially when you join in. Try channeling all that artistic energy into the kitchen and bake up some creative treats together. Think of your art supplies as the frosting, sprinkles, and decorating gels, and use cookies or cupcakes as your canvas. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Does this ever happen to you? Moments after you're introduced to someone, you forget his or her name. It's a common faux pas you'll want to avoid, especially if you're a job seeker. And even if you're not, here's a tip. As you are being introduced, and while you're still shaking hands, smiling, and making eye contact, say the person's name aloud. Not only does that make a deposit in your memory bank, it acknowledges the other person. And that is more than a nuance, as is maintaining eye contact. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important important. Cutting through the clutter rather than blending into the blah, blah, blah will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. Take control, toll free here at 855-453-free. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Got a lot of features available there on the site, and uh, you can enjoy it all on the house, freetalklive.com. So I tried the My Magic Mud out last night, Mark. I finally got around to, uh, to doing it, and boy, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it's a delightful product to use. Did you? <laughs> know- Your mouth is this black goo all over it. It's, it's, it's great. Well, it's it, really it looks like it's it should be goo, but it's it's not. It's really yeah, it's not. It's it's sort of watery, um, the way that it uh, comes out. But it's a it's a tooth powder, and it's made with uh, activated charcoal, specifically mm. from coconut husks, and it's you know very very active in the sense that it binds with things and it's also made with benzenite clay and so it uh, what it does is it binds with all the bacteria in your mouth and kind of gets sucks them out of there and it's really an incredible whitener did you i have to say i was a skeptic of your claim that uh, you used it once and it did all this whitening but it really did uh i uh, a friend of I, mine i said four times for me to get you said you noticed after i one. noticed once and after uh, once. For, for, to be able to notice after one use of something like that, two minutes whitening. I mean, is is pretty stunning. I have a friend who had some pretty yellowed teeth from several years of uh, of smoking cigarettes and and drinking tea on a regular basis, and uh, she used it, and it was amazing. I mean, it just I was stunned. Like I could I could notice a difference. She definitely noticed uh, a difference. She this said stuff that totally works. It worked on me and, as well. You know, I mean, and and I, I'm always skeptical of uh, things that have you know terminology in them like uh, naturopathic um, mm-hmm. and holistic. Now, mind you, I take ten uh, you know vitamin p- type pill things, supplements a day, because I'm willing to try stuff. But I think you've got to be skeptical of everything that um, the, every product out there. But the my and the my magic mud isn't like cheap or anything like that but this stuff totally I works I, what i said last night was i don't care what it costs it's it 
actually works. And what it does is it doesn't whiten your teeth to some kind of weird uh, day glow Martian no, color. It's your real it's white. It's the color yeah. your teeth are supposed to be. Right. And Without the stains. It looks right on you. Yeah. It's the right color for you because it is your color. I was impressed, I have to say. It's it's amazing stuff. I, I can't. I cannot uh, recommend it more. I'm really excited about it, and I will continue to use this on into the future because it really works for me. I love the way it makes my mouth feel. I don't know if you um, had this, Ian, but it kind of my mouth felt sort of so clean it squeaked, kind of like mm. my teeth were just completely clean of anything on them. And in the next the next morning, I felt the same way. Like there's usually have this sort of film on your uh, in your mouth. Now, did you take the time because the jar suggests that you mix it with a little water first and then use that no. on the brush? I didn't do that either. I just dipped my brush in there. I just touched my to brush town. in and uh, you know just with my little buzzer. It's toothbrush. a little messy. You've got to be a little cautious. You got to be with, over the you sink. Know, how you spit, it's going to splatter and yep. etc. So. But you know, the kids love it because um, it's you know, so much. It would be so much fun with kids because yeah. you basically get this black mouth look, and yeah. uh, you know you wonder how is this going to clean anything, and it really <laughs> it it's just it does it, indeed. Can't recommend it more highly. MyMagicMud.com. They will be at Porkfest. It's uh, made by Jessica Arman, who's a liberty-loving homeschool mother of three, and she'll be attending Porkfest, and they'll have plenty of jars there for sale in I think Agra it's Valley. Be a hit. Yeah. It's going to be a big hit. Oh, I think so, too. I think they're going to have, they're trying to work out testing stations. So once you can yeah. try this thing, like you tried it one time. Yeah. And Shocked. it changed everything for you, for you about your belief system. Same here. That's how it was for me, too. I mean, I believed you, but I thought you were exaggerating. Well, and you weren't. No, no. <laughs> MyMagicMud.com. All right, 855, 450 free. We have three more tips for you. Actually, four more. Uh, four more tips on the list of 11 things to look for. That might indicate you're talking with an agent provocateur, someone who does not have your best interests in mind, someone who wants to get you put in a jail cell by suggesting things that you otherwise might not do. Maybe this person, you know, maybe this person thinks that you are easily manipulable, and hopefully you aren't. Uh, but sometimes these people can be persuasive. Sometimes they may try to have sex with you in order to get you to take their ideas more seriously. So beware. Number eight on this list is it usually isn't a government employee. You may think, I know this guy. I know he's scum. So I know he wouldn't be hired as a law enforcement officer because of his criminal history or other baggage. This sociopathic petty criminal ne'er-do-well actually is the type that is most often approached to be a provocateur. He's often approached by the government and offered an escape from the consequences of other activity that he's been involved in. This, ironically, is also the type who has the most to gain and the least to lose by lying and distorting. A provocateur is yeah. often recruited on the fly and is told sometimes with only moments of instruction from a government employee that he just met to arrange and carry out an event to bring in more defendants in order to save his skin. Right. And this is where juries should be extraordinarily skeptical, um, you know, like dismiss the vast majority of things said by somebody who's getting out of a criminal charge. Um, you know, so many times these people they, they won't they don't want they don't want to testify. They do not want to testify. Oh man! But people will take and, they'll, a plea. and sometimes they'll be lied to and told that they'll be protected and they won't have to testify. Most take most cases they don't have to testify because the right. vast majority of these cases don't go to trial. The vast majority of any cases don't go to trial. Right. In our friend Rich Paul's case, Rich actually took it to trial, so the undercover uh, informant there was put on the stand. Mm. The, the dirty snitch, the person who was actually a heroin dealer, and uh, the state had him go and buy some cannabis from Rich Paul, and they basically let a heroin dealer walk in order to get charges placed on Rich yeah, for, for cannabis. <laughs> After the provocateur works his way out of a jam, he often keeps working for money since he now knows how to produce the desired results. Others are motivated only by the money they receive from the government. Many provocateurs are unwitting, lower-tier provocateurs that are paid for their actions by another private provocateur who is receiving the funds directly from an actual government employee. Now, that's interesting, the idea that yeah, heard provocateurs that would hire other provocateurs. The unwitting provocateur doesn't even know he's working for the government. He'll be paid by the primary provocateur oh, to see. do things that the main provocateur doesn't want to do, like light a fuse and run away from a truck without knowing the government's paying the bills. 
Often the most damaging evidence at trial is characterizations of individuals' motivations as statements and actions. At that point, a government employee is usually called in as an expert witness to analyze, describe, and translate what it means when someone nods their head in sync with the person paying for the beer. Number nine. The provocateur will show persistence, followed by silence. He may exhibit periods of aggressive, non-stop interest, followed by days of silence. He disappears. He can't be contacted. He doesn't answer phone or email. He was seemingly in a, ma a mad rush and anxious to conclude a suggested and planned out transaction or event, despite any consideration of the cost, but then makes last-minute lengthy delays while being incommunicado. That happens because he's conferring with his overlords to arrange the final arrest details during the moments or after the moments when he provides illegal material or facilitates an immoral event that will become the overt act in the conspiracy. I think it also um, comes from, to some extent, just utter fear. Like, doing this job. Imagine being, uh, you know, somebody who's not a police officer and you're being paid by the cops to infiltrate to or whatever— you can, I mean, you can just, it's just as just overpowering fear can over um, can overcome somebody. Hmm. And then you have to sort of drag yourself out of it because the police aren't going to leave you alone. Hey, look, you're going to prison. Um, you know, so you're, you can't halfway do these jobs. As law enforcement surveillance or arrest teams are put into place during various phases of the developing conspiracy, with all the delays of a bureaucracy, the provocateur drops all contact with targeted victims during crucial times after a deal has been paid for and set up by him. The underlings have been told what to do and when to do it, but can't find their boss during that crucial phase because he's lying low while pestering law enforcement teams who want more time to get ready. Stall and delay is the message to the provocateur from his paymaster. While the provocateur has used up all his excuses and the 11th hour has arrived, he often goes underground and waits for the arrest team to do their thing. After all, he doesn't want to get beat up and shot in the final H-hour bedlam when he's confused with the targets. Sometimes the underlings do what they're paid to do and initiate the act, light the fuse, pull the trigger, deliver the drugs, or complete the transaction anyway, as paid employees tend to do after losing contact with their boss in the final hours leading up to an important, crucial, time-sensitive, scheduled event. Two more tips, things to look for that might suggest you are talking to an agent provocateur. When we return with the remaining moments of Free Talk Live, you are welcome to call in, share your thoughts, 855-453. This is Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com tired of taking handfuls of vitamin pills look and feel super with a great tasting liquid vitamin and mineral supplement called passion for life this incredible one ounce daily drink can lead to better stamina and energy due to faster more complete absorption passion for life contains 135 all natural whole food ingredients it's the best tasting most powerful product of its kind on the market order now by calling 844 try life or find out much more about passion for life by visiting 844 try 844 try 
Free Talk Live. You can tell by the way they're dressed, by their demeanor, that, that they're, these are illegal. Do okay. you understand that they bring in okay. leprosy oh, and Oh, God, here's the leprosy. Uh, tell All me, the same show me the canards. news story about leprosy and not some crackpot website. Do you understand website. this is our country and yes, this is hold about on. our wait, children? Wait, wait, Stop the jingoistic crap. Truth You're picking speaker. and choosing. And You're I'm saying that a bunch of murdering, okay. raping <laughs> lepers are coming across the border. Oh, yes, they are. No, yes, that's, that's nuts, colony. Trish. If that was the case, then then in fact we would all know about it. I mean, no, you you, it wouldn't. sounds like the night no, of the living dead wouldn't. down there at the border, and they're just coming across looking think, for the brains. You think <laughs> CNN and Fox News is going to tell you this? You've got another thing coming. Why wouldn't it they? It'd be great for ratings. It's by design. It's meant to bring this country to Oh, now there's a conspiracy team. behind it, right? You're going to tell me the NWO's behind all this? It. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state And you're looking for some real estate Well, I know a guy who's really great It's the realtor Mark Warden Do you want a home with 20 acres A lakeside cabin Any takers for renters Buyers and sellers too Mark Warden is the guy for you PorcupineRealEstate.com Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you'd like. And maybe you've got some experience. With this agent provocateur situation, maybe you've been an agent provocateur and you want to tell us how sorry of a person that you used to be. I'd love to hear that and story. And what, what it was that led you down a road where you would be dishonest about who you really are and attempt to actually hurt people for a living or just to get you uh, yourself out of some hot water and how ashamed you are of that. You're welcome to tell your story. 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. Also, you can join us online. Just drop on by freetalklive.com. And if you like the show and you want to help support us, then please become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. Once again, that's amp.freetalklive.com. Five bucks a month. That's all we're asking for. You get that five bucks doubled uh, by our generous contributors. And you can get five bucks back in Bitcoin if you email me your Bitcoin address after you become the Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. If you become a Free Talk Live amplifier at 10 bucks a month, you'll get 10 bucks back in Bitcoin if you want. So it just depends on the amount that you contribute. And what we do with it is we get on more radio stations. We bring more listeners on board on the Internet. And, of course, you've been on our website before. You know that you can go there and create the content. Liberty-oriented news is certainly welcome, or anything that you think is interesting, you think our audience would enjoy. Another great news site uh, that I like is freedomsphoenix.com, and I know, uh, Mark, you've subscribed to their daily dispatch email. You're getting the latest on the detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. Freedomsphoenix.com has up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. Go to freedomsphoenix.com. In fact, Ernie Hancock, the uh, the proprietor there at Freedoms Phoenix, he's going to be broadcasting his show live. Declare your independence from the upcoming Porcupine Freedom Festival. So Wonderful. Don't, don't miss that. Uh, let's go to the phones and to the fun unscreen call. Oh, that's what I get for not screening that one. So eh, most of the time it works. We'll continue <laughs> With the uh, agent provocateur, the suggestions here that you might want to look for these things. If you're dealing with people in your group, whatever the group might be, someone comes in and starts suggesting violence, don't stand for it. Don't sit by silently as they start talking about what they want to see happen, some sort of violent act that they want to see happen. 
because that is likely an agent provocateur. Yeah. If not, it's somebody that doesn't understand that violence doesn't solve problems. And either way, that person should be talked to. Any any noob that comes in making waves like that, one has to sort of wonder. Look out. Number 10. Lies convincingly in a Captain America truth test. That's that is this is something that What an the agent hell is do. a Captain America truth test? There is for, uh, folklore floating around amongst regular folk to the effect that undercover agents of the government must always tell the truth. After all, they will swear to tell the truth at trial. They probably took some sort of oath to tell the truth, didn't they? If you catch them in a li- if you catch them in a lie, won't that impeach their credibility on the witness stand and cause the case to be thrown out? This belief often leads the provocateur's victims to inquire, "Are you a cop?" Or are you working for the government in any way? The provocateur's answer of no is often accepted as the correct answer to the G-Man truth test. The belief that cops, like Vulcans, will always tell the truth is surprisingly still out there, but losing adherence. So, especially if they are, by the way, somebody who's been hired by a provocateur, if it is a, the sub-provocateurs they were talking about before, they may not even know they're working for the state. Yeah, prostitutes uh, don't put up with this crap. They say, show me your junk. You know, (laughs) so that's, uh, I mean, that's how they handle that situation. And I I don't even think that's effective when it comes to somebody who's not a police officer. I mean, look at the situation in Hawaii where uh, police officers were allowed to have sex with prostitutes, but nobody else was. So, um, you know, recently, I guess they've, uh, you know, done away with that, but I wouldn't even trust that. I wouldn't trust any of it. Number 11, the final tip thing to look for that you might be talking to an agent provocateur is it must be a really good one because if you wouldn't have just made your list 10 right like you had to have you had to include this one uh number 11 is he's wearing a hat all right funny right there's a not so funny joke that floats around amongst undercover personnel that goes as follows if i ever think i'm getting set up i'm gonna ask the guy to take his hat off and then look around and see if the cavalry rushes in taking off the hat cavalry or cap of or other headgear has been a long-standing visual bust signal between provocateurs and surveillance teams. Not always, but more often than you would think. You might want to ask your newfound generous friend to take off his hat and let you look at it, because you would love one just like it. So, in conclusion, if you look at postings on a forum and consider if someone in the discussion may be an undercover cop, then instead of considering who the silent lurker avoiding the discussion, think more about the one who talks the most and makes brash inflammatory statements like kill or smash or blood in the streets. The one who tries to set up meetings and intimidate those who are peaceful, telling them that they aren't true patriots. The one who tries to discuss, provide, or email you disturbing images or questionable links so that they can be retrieved later from your computer computer via a computer forensics examination Mm. to prove your deviance. If you receive emails or Facebook messages after writing an article or making a posting, are some of them aggressive or uh, pushing for violence and seeking your involvement, your input, or your reaction to their odd suggestions? This is a sign of someone who had no fear of instigating and carrying out criminal activity because of his connections to those who would prosecute you. They aren't always bullying high-pressure operators suggesting violence, though. They also use the I'm-your-friend tactic to get a lonely or impoverished person or substance-addicted person to nod his head or parrot the provocateur's statements to at least get the target to mumble something like, "Uh uh-huh, during an uncomfortable silence in a beer-drinking session after the provocateur has verbally mapped out a dastardly plan. The minimal recorded "Uh uh-huh has been the tool used against many, supposedly proving the defendant's buy-in to the conspiracy. You know, uh, I... That's really scary. Yeah, they're they're looking, in many cases, they're just looking for a conviction. So a warm body, it doesn't Mm -hmm. matter who it is. Someone to point to to say, ah, see, this is a terrorist. Yeah. We saved you, America. I mean, how many of these FBI setups have we seen in the last decade? Well, the the one that we've we've seen, probably a dozen of them. Yeah. um, But the one where they, you know, but they do everything and they just get some warm body to do something stupid. The one that I found most convincing, though, was a young man, and I don't remember his name by any stretch, um, who was looking to, for a better life and trying to sort of get out of whatever was going on. He was trying to get away from these, uh, a, a, these, these agents. Mm-hmm. And he got a job in Alaska, a job offer in Alaska, and the agents 
because they wanted their conviction so badly. They didn't want this guy to get away. They didn't want him to be able to have a better life, something else. They scuttled his job opportunity. They called the boss and said, this is the FBI. You don't want to hire this guy. Wow, it's bad, man. bad news. You remember this? Yeah, no, I remember that. And, uh, you know, this is so utterly disgusting. And then they paid These for his apartment. These are not people that care about truth or justice or order or goodness. These are evil bastards in, in, in only interested in their own careers. And this is what bureaucracy does to people. It twists their minds. Yeah, it takes away their humanity. As a final comment, most co- now this is fascinating, by the way. Most countries in the world do not allow agent provocateur activity. It's expressly prohibited. Rather, it is an established legal principle that a lying government agent involved in criminal activity misrepresenting himself to the other parties cannot be excluded as a defendant in any criminal conspiracy that is charged as a result of his action. Otherwise, the validity of the assent of the private parties to the conspiracy or the existence of the conspiracy itself would be in question. Being a lying provocateur is not an acceptable court defense in those places for state actors who arrange to ship drugs, blow people up, shoot people, etc. The U.S. is not one of those places. (laughs) No, it is not. I'm shocked by that. I mean, I just figured that agents provocateur was a standard government tactic, but apparently in a lot of governments it's prohibited. Well, I'm I, stunned by I, that. I, yeah, I I don't know. I couldn't could not say. I'm David, not su- oh, oh, I'm not surprised that they can't do those things in drug cases in places like Belgium and the Netherlands and things like that. Now this is interesting because you know as I'm reading this, this guy he appears to be an expert on these matters. How's this guy? Who, who the hell is David Hathaway? You know, maybe he's just some Lou, Lou Rockwell blogger. Why does he know so much about this? David Hathaway is a former supervisory DEA agent. Mm. So, yeah. Safe to say, this guy knows a thing or two about interacting with agents provocateur. He's probably been in charge of some of them in the past. Uh, indeed, he probably sent him out. So, I don't know. very disturbing stuff. I think the real takeaway here, and we'll post the link to this story on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, but I think the real takeaway is to not stand for this. Don't assent. Don't nod your head. Don't say, uh-huh, when someone's talking about murder shooting, bombing, those people need to be challenged, and they need to be challenged openly, and if they don't stop their talk, they need to be ostracized. They need to be taken out of the group. Agreed. And that's the only way. It's just for your protection. Uh, Most, number one, it's for your protection, because these people will stoop to no bounds. They know no bounds. And they will do anything that it takes to try to get you involved in their plot and then put you in a prison cell. So again, if, if you're not violent, if you are dedicated to peace, then speak up when these people come around and let them know that that viewpoint, the violence viewpoint, is not appreciated. We'll uh, see you tomorrow night. Online in the meantime, freetalklive.com. A congressman recently revealed that legislation totaling 2,900 pages and involving more than $1 trillion was available to members of Congress for less than 48 hours to study and consider. That's over 60 pages of legislation per hour. Do you think anyone read the entire bill? I'm Jim Babka with DownsizedDC.org. Consider a proposal buried in a 3,200-page, $388 billion bill, which would have empowered committee chairmen or their agents to examine Americans' tax returns. When this horrible provision came to light, no one claimed to know how it got into the bill. One congressman questioned said, I didn't write it, I didn't approve it, I wasn't even consulted. If your attorney represented you this way, he might be disbarred. But this is how Congress represents you every day. That's why DownsizedDC.org has created the Read the Bills Act. You can force Congress to read their bills before they pass them at DownsizedDC.org. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, May 29th, 2014. Silver is trading at $18.87 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,254 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $567. Reuters reports Edward Snowden told a U.S. television interviewer he would like to go home from asylum in Moscow, but that if necessary, he would seek to extend his stay in Russia. U.S. officials said he was welcome to return to the United States if he wanted to face justice for leaking details of massive U.S. intelligence gathering programs. Snowden told NBC Nightly News anchor Brian Williams in an excerpt from the interview that aired Wednesday, if I could go anywhere in the world, that place would be home. Asked how anxious he was to make a deal to return to the United States, Snowden replied, my priority is not about myself. It's about making sure that these programs are reformed and that the family I left behind, the country that I left behind, can be helped by my actions. He added that his one-year asylum in Russia looks like it's going to run out, and then, of course, I would apply for an extension. Snowden, who fled to Hong Kong and then Moscow last year, is believed to have taken 1.7 million computerized documents. The leaked documents revealed massive programs run by the NSA that gathered information on emails, phone calls, and internet used by hundreds of millions of Americans. He was charged last year in the United States with theft of government property, unauthorized communication of national defense information, and willful communication of classified intelligence to an unauthorized person. Secretary of State John Kerry invited Snowden to, quote, man up and come back to the United States, and told the CBS This Morning program on Wednesday, the bottom line is this is a man who betrayed his country, who is sitting in Russia, an authoritarian country where he has taken refuge. If he has a complaint about what's the matter with American surveillance, come back here and stand in our system of justice and make his case. Snowden said, The reality is the situation determined that this needed to be told to the public. The Constitution of the United States has been violated on a massive scale. I think it's important to remember that people don't set their lives on fire. They don't say goodbye to their families. They don't walk away from extraordinarily comfortable lives and burn down everything they love for no reason. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. The AP reports, Ohio executions have been put on hold for two and a half months after a federal judge allowed more time for arguments over the state's new lethal injection procedures. The order, in place until August 15th, delays executions scheduled for July and August, while attorneys prepare filings about the state's decision to boost the dosage of its lethal injection drugs. The one-page order by Columbus federal judge Gregory Frost affects the state's latest death penalty policy change, which was announced in late April. Ohio uses two drug injections simultaneously in executions. The policy change considerably increases the amount of the sedative and raises the amount of the painkiller. The procedure update followed the January 16th execution of Dennis McGuire, who repeatedly gasped for air during the record 26 minutes it took him to die. The state said in April it was making the change to allay any remaining concerns after McGuire's 